up Wargamers, welcome back to the channel, I'm your host Stoss, and today I have Christoph with me. Hey guys, how's it going? Hey, and we are here for a game of Warhammer Fantasy 6th edition. Yes, the king of editions, we are back to play another one. And today it will be 2,000 points of dwarves versus... Skaven. Skaven, yeah. the rat men, the filthy little... You know what it is. So yes, we are. We're finally doing a 2,000 point yep. game. I have gotten my dwarves up to 2,000 points and Christoph has brought in his beautiful Skaven army to face them down. It's a classic grudge match, right? Yeah, it is. It the is. The Skaven versus dwarves. Ah, it's beautiful. Um, uh, you've also brought in some terrain pieces for yeah, your house. Yeah, yeah. Look, it's a little bit dwarven themed. You'll see it in a moment. So I think that's so going to be pretty good. contextually appropriate for Skaven versus Dwarves. So I reckon Hell that'll yeah. be good. Yeah, you know, Coming up from the mines and having a bit of a go. So I think Love that'll, it. Be, that'll be good. Love it. You'll yeah. see all of that in a minute. Now, if you enjoy this video, don't forget, like, subscribe, hit the bell, do all the things. If you've already subscribed, you're a champion. If you haven't, get involved. You know, just, just push that little button and become a part of the Christos crew. <laughs> but without any further ado, let's have a look at the armies. Ooh. We'll have a look at the battlefield and then we will get this underway. And here we have my 2000 point dwarf throng. Starting off with the general, we have my dwarf lord today. He has heavy armor with the master rune of Gromril, making his armor go to a one up armor save, the rune of resistance, making it re rollable, and the master rune of spite, giving him a four up ward save. He's also got a great weapon. So he's basically just like a massive tank, you know, re rollable, one up armor save, four up ward. He's gonna be hard to kill. Let's see how he goes. Then we have my Thane Battle Standard Bearer. He has Gromril armor with the Rune of Stone, making the Gromril go from a four up to a three up save. And then he's got a runic hand weapon with three runes on it. He's got the Rune of Fury, giving him plus one attack. The Rune of Cleaving, giving him plus one strength. And the Rune of Speed, giving him plus one initiative. The Rune of Speed is just kind of there because I had five points spare. So there it is, that is the BSB. And then uh, rounding out the heroes slash characters is my runesmith. The runesmith is going to have Gromril armor with the rune of stone. He's going to have a great weapon and he is going to have a rune of spell breaking, which is the uh, dispel scroll equivalent. And that is it. That is the heroes moving on to core. We have warriors, 19 of them, uh, heavy armor, great weapons and full command. Another unit of 20 warriors kitted the same way, heavy armor, Great weapon, full command. Got a unit of 10 Thunderers with shields, no command. Then moving on to special, we have 18 Iron Breakers, full command, and there is a Rune of Battle on the standard, giving them plus one combat res. Iron Breakers, gotta love them. Look at them, look at them, yeah. Um, and then we have 20 Slayers, full command. Yes, hopefully they'll, uh, they'll do their job. They'll die gloriously for the cause. And then, continuing with the special, moving on to the artillery, here is the new piece of the army. It is a stone thrower slash grudge thrower. And it is going to have the, uh, the rune, of, ooh, rune of accuracy, which means that it can re-roll the artillery dice. Um, yeah, hoping to you know, get that, uh, that direct hit when I need it. Yeah, she's a good piece, look at him. And then we've got the cannon with the uh, rune of forging, so I can re-roll a misfire when need be. And then finally, in the rare slot, you've seen it before, it's back again. It's the organ gun. Hell yeah. And that is it. That is the 2000 point dwarf throng for today. And here we have Kristoff's beautifully painted 2000 point Skaven army. Take us through it, Kristoff. All right, well, we'll start at the front rank there. So on the far left-hand side, we've got a regular Warlock Engineer. Uh, that's one with Warp Blades, Supercharged Warp Power Accumulator, and Storm Demon. Um, so basically, the Supercharged Warp Accumulator um, makes your spells a bit more nasty, and the Storm Demon's a bound item. Cool. Um, to his right, we have another Warp Lock Engineer. I know that's the Ickit um, Claw model, but oh well. <laughs> also got Warp Blades, upgraded Warp Energy Condenser for more Power Dice. I have a Horned Rat as well, and I think I've just... Oh no, that one's the extra Power Dice, sorry. The other one lets you cast Warp Lightning at a slightly nastier charge. Gotcha. 
That grey seer is a placeholder for the grey seer at the back on the screaming bell. Oh, um, so that's a bell. yeah, grey seer with the screaming bell, and he's just rocking a dispel scroll, nothing at all. Um, we just have the dismounted version so that if he gets knocked off the bell, he can continue walking around. It's never happened, but you know, it's nice to to plan for potential mis misfires. Indeed, indeed. Or in this case, miscasts. Aha, yes, uh, very good. Moving right. along. Last hero is just a regular chieftain in heavy armor. He's got a battle standard bearer with a banner of the swarm. Banner of the Swarm just lets him um, get an extra point of combat resolution for outnumbering the enemy. Cool, so yes, outnumbering is worth two combat res now. Correct. Very nice. All right, moving back to the next line. All right, so uh, core units, we got 20 Storm Vermin, shields full command. Excellent. Pretty straightforward. We have the unit with the bell, so ah, yes. that's 30 Clan Rats. They've got full command and they have a rattling gun. Now that is a poisoned wind mortar miniature from the 8th edition set. Oh, yeah. I just don't own a rattling gun, so this is the only thing that's not WYSIWYG. Hey man, that is all good. One little proxy. We can live with that. Yeah. We can live with that. Oh jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Very good. So that uh, next block of rats is 25 slaves. Um, they only have a musician because they like to flee. Um, I probably should give them a full command, but that's that's okay for now. This is the list I've got, so they're just rocking a musician at 25 strong. Hell yeah. To their right is a unit of plague monks. They have additional Ooh. hand weapons for the frenzy, so each base rat will have three attacks each. Knowledge. And they've got full command. Cool. Uh, we've got another unit as well of clan rats. They're 30 strong with full command and they have a warp fire thrower attachment there which likes to blow itself up. But indeed, we'll see. indeed. We have had one game together so far and that is exactly what happened. Yeah. <laughs> really does more damage to me than it does to anything else. Oh my god. That's well, the way it is. we'll see how it goes this game. Exactly. All right, moving back into the back ranks. Okay, so we have six Gisales, mm. Um and if for the keen-eyed amongst you, those are 3D printed ones. I couldn't get my hands on regular Giselles, so these had to do. Hey man, they look awesome. And we've also got one warp lightning cannon, as is. Terrifying. Likes to, yeah, do its, do its best. Yep. And last but not least, we've got six gutter runners. Um, again, a 3D printed unit, because at the time I couldn't source them. Um, they have tunnel teams, so they can pop up underneath people, and they have poisoned weapons. Indeed, they're going to be putting pressure on my artillery crews, no doubt. And that is it. That is 2,000 points of the Skaven. And here we are, all deployed and ready to play this 2,000 point throwdown grudge match between the Dwarves and the Skaven. So as you can see, we have some beautiful terrain pieces that Kristoff has brought from his own collection. Um, that's some, you know, an entryway into a Dwarven hold, uh, an entryway into the Dwarven mine. So cool. He's, got, he's brought his forests, which are they're magnetized, oh my god! How awesome is that? You just snap them back on and off. Mate, I love your work. This is... It's helpful, especially when you're moving through there. Instead of just having to snap something in place, it, it just works much better, I reckon. Super nice. Yeah. Super awesome. Um, so yes, the, the, the basic kind of narrative that we've got going on today is um, this, you know, this entryway. This is, the, this is an, a lost hold of the dwarves, which the, the Skaven have currently been occupying the, the lower bowels of. And, and you know, this, uh, this Karakhan throng have decided to strike one of their grudges from the Great Book, and they have sallied forth to come and reclaim this dwarven hold. Um, and, you know, Skaven being Skaven, you know, having tunnels leading all around. They heard the tramping feet of the dwarves and, you know, the, the tunnels underneath have been collapsed. So we couldn't go the underway. We've had to come over land and the Skaven have decided to, you know, scatter out and meet us before we can even get in there. So we are fighting above ground to liberate a dwarven hold. Here it is. There it is. All right. So let's go over some deployment on the dwarven side. We have Artillery Hill, we've got the Thunderers, the Grudge Thrower, and the Cannon. And then in the lines we have Warriors led by the Runesmith. We've got Iron Breakers with double character. We've got the Organ Gun nestled in between, Slayers, and then right out on the flank, the last unit of Stock Warriors. All right, and why don't you take us through deployment on your side of the table, please, Christoph? Yeah, too easy. So on the far side, we've got the Warp Lightning Cannon. Beautiful. So just for context, that can kind of zap through 
forest, it just turns and it fires and it's Indeed. random strength. Yeah, random that's, that's not going to be affecting whether it can be shooting through at all. So Easy. terrifying. Very it, good. It can kill my own guys as well, but welcome to Skate. <laughs> <laughs> yep. All right, we've got um, the block of 30 clan rats with a warp fire thrower on this side of the flank as well, just because it's tough playing a horde army. So totally. they're going to try and come out of the side. Um, in the center block, we've got quite a few things. We've got the slaves um, on my right hand side with Storm Vermin behind. Cool. We've got a mini missile hill, not as threatening, but still Gisales are still a bit of a concern. Yeah, dude. Gisales in the center. We have a big block with the Grey Seer on the Screaming Bell with the Clan Rats. Terrifying. With the Battle Standard Bearer, so that's the same as you. We've got double characters slotted into that unit. Mm -hmm. We've got the uh, Rattling Gun accompanying, and then last but not least, we've got the Plague Monks on the side. We've got a couple characters scattered around here, so of course the Warplock Engineer 1 and 2 yep. um, are just on either side. And for spells, not a great run. I managed to roll Skittily, which I can't use if I'm on a bell. Didn't get Warp Lightning. Um, got Death Frenzy, Vermintide, and Pestilent Breath, which is okay, but I was really hoping for a Plague. Yeah, really dude, for lightning, of but... course. It's, yeah, you yeah. didn't, you definitely didn't have the luck of the dice getting those spells. No. I'm pretty stoked that I'm not going to be dealing with Plague today. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, it's not a lot of spell. fun. It's gross. Well, it's fun um, for me. Indeed, it's indeed. Yeah. All right, and that is it. That is deployment. This is the battlefield, and that was the narrative. All that is left is to roll. For first turn. All right, let's do it. Are you ready, Christoph? I am ready. Are you I'm ready? Evil dice. Excellent. I've got my Karakhan green dice. We're getting plus one to the dwarves because we finished deploying first. Yeah. Oh, he's got yeah. it. Oh, yeah. He's got it. It's Skaven Ooh. turn one. This is that. unprecedented. <laughs> this has never happened before. I'm terrified. Really? I'm so, it's no, never happened so far on the channel, dwarves wow. have gone first every time. So, so they're usually mate, real fast, but yeah, not yeah. as fast. Indeed. So yeah, okay. you've, you've seized the initiative on the mm. dwarves, mate. That's uh Unprecedented. Unprecedented. All right, well, we will be back with Skaven, turn one. All right, Skaven, turn one. Ah, just something uh, that we need to uh, discuss. This little marker here is where the, um, what are these guys? Gutter Runners. Gutter Runners. This is where the Gutter Runners are potentially going to be turning up at the start of turn two. Um, on turn two, it'll be a 50-50 roll and a four up, they'll turn up, and then a three up on turn three, two up, and so on and so forth. But yes, this right here is where they're planning to tunnel up out we, of the mines. We know exactly what's going to happen. Oh, they're yes. going to get lost, and they're going to emerge under the mine, <laughs> and the mine shaft's going to collapse, and they're all going to die, because that's <laughs> always what happens. That's always what happens. Hell yeah, love that. Yep. Um, so yes, that is that. And so, this is where the Skaven side is prior to the movement phase, and... This is where it all ends up. All right, so take us through it, Christoph. So pretty basic stuff, just everything moving forward. So Plague Monks up front, Slaves up the front, mm -hmm. uh, Screaming Bell kind of slowly moving up. There's obviously not much space here, so that's going to be a bit tricky. Indeed. Uh, Warplock Engineers moving up so that they've got a bit of line of sight. Rattling Gun doesn't have line of sight, but it's 15 inches anyway, so who cares? It doesn't yeah, really matter. Yeah, not going to be a thing yet. No, Storm Vermin coming up and a bit of movement on this flank as well with the Clan Rats with the Warp Fire Thrower. Totally. Obviously the machines and, and artillery are staying uh, sorry, Gisales and artillery are staying put. Totally. So straight yes, the, uh, the other Warplock Engineer is just hanging out there on the edge of the forest. Yes. Skulking like a rat. <laughs> well, I think he heard somewhere that uh, trees grow cheese. Yeah. Um, so, you know, Ratatouille and friends, they, they do what they need to do. All right, so we're rock and rolling straight into the magic phase. Yes. Um, uh, ooh, all right, let's so, see if I can survive it. Um, yeah, talk me, talk me through it. All what right, so let, let's count out the power dice, because I'll do it once, and then everyone watching can kind of see what's going on. Perfect. So we've got two power dice base. Yep. We have two for the Screaming Bell. Cool. We have four for the level four Grey Seer. Mm -hmm. We have one for the Warplock Engineer. Yep. One for the second Warplock Engineer, because they count as level one wizards. Yes, they do, Grace. We have the supercharged warp accumulator or condenser. I get them mixed up, but long story short, you get a power dice. Grace! And there's one more thing that needs to be done. This is the um, Eye of the Horn Rat. Ah. So on a roll of two to six, you'll get an extra power dice. And oh. on a roll of a one, you lose a power dice. All right, so let's see that one. So let's, let's see how we go. Oh, nah, yeah. you're good. So we got an extra Pop power it in the dice. pool. So how many you got there? Uh, that is two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Disgusting. All right, well, <laughs> I've got my four base for my, you know, my racial hatred of uh, of magic. 
and I get one <laughs> for my, my rune smith. That's so it's, right. It's five to obnoxious. All right. Yeah, you do have a rune spell breaking on you. I do. Um, I have one auto, no thank you on that spell, yeah. sir. <laughs> so the only other thing there is as well is I like to call them cheese tokens. They're actually warpstone tokens, but Love I like to call them cheese tokens. So um, all Skaven casters will get a cheese token based mm -hmm. on their power level. Yeah. So the Gracie has got four cheese tokens and each of the warp lock engineers has a cheese token each. Love it. And basically how this works is um, you get to consume it like a power dice. But if you roll a one on that power dice, the cheese dice, something goes very wrong. Ooh. So I'm, yeah, you know, Skaven, you're yeah. always a bit up and down. Yeah, man, risk reward, that is the yeah, Skaven way. Love it. it. All right, so we'll start the magic phase. Yeah, take me in. What are we and doing? And what we're going to start off with is the fun stuff. But actually, you know what? I'm just thinking about what I want to do. What I'm actually going to do here is I'm actually going to start with Death Frenzy. Ooh. So Death Frenzy is a spell that's cast with an 18. It gives a friendly unit Frenzy. If cool. they already have Frenzy, they get even frothier. But for now, <laughs> I'm going to pop it on the unit of Slaves up the front here. Very good. And so how long does this spell last for? Do you have so, to cast it every turn or is it a remains in play? Uh, Surely until it a... loses, they get Frenzy until it loses a combat engagement. So it just gives them Frenzy. Oh, that's, oh my it's god. It's not a remains in play spell. Oh my god. You just cast it. That's so gnarly. So you can it's potentially, like, over your six turns, give everything frenzy. Correct. That's so gnarly. It's pretty good. But okay. there, is, there is a catch, you know. If, if things are frenzy, you have to declare charges where you of might course. not necessarily want to, so that's a bit tricky. True that. But slaves are slaves. They exist to die. Yeah, So that's, that's exactly it. how I'm going to treat it. Love um, that. So I'm going to cast Death Frenzy. I'm going to use my Gracie to cast Death Frenzy. That's Sweet. cast on a nine or more. How many dice are you using? Three dice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they should get it on that. <laughs> That irresistible force. That's a 13. Remember, <gasps> Skaven casts Irresistible Force on a roll of a 13. Specifically. So Specifically. it's not 13 or over. It's if no. you roll a 13 exactly, That's you get right. Irresistible Force. All so right, sir. Well, it would have been an Irresistible Force. Indeed, anyway. with the double six. <laughs> it's a double Irresistible Force. Indeed, the double. It's so irresistible, I can't help but want it. <laughs> <laughs> so what I'm going to do, just to mark that out, is I'm just going to put a token there. Beauty. So that we know they're Frenzy. Yep. Frenzy boys. Love Easy. that. Okay, so we still, we've used three power dice, we've still got a bit of a pool here. So what I'm going to start doing is going into Warp Lightning Town. Gross. So this Warp Lock Engineer here, yep. he's the guy who can cast Warp, lock, uh, warp Lightning sorry, in a higher charge value. Cool. So instead of using two dice, he can use three. Love it. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. He's going to cast Warp Lightning on your big unit of Iron Breakers. On the Iron Breakers. Because on they scare me. The Elite Dwarves, it makes sense. Yes, indeed. All right, so this is going to be cast on a nine plus. Warp Lightning, you can cast on a five plus or a nine plus. Nine plus being the more devastating The big version. one, it's two D6, yeah. right? Instead of, a, instead of a single D6. Correct. All yeah. right, sir. Cast on a nine. Give me the Kahuna. Oh, Jesus. Well, it's not an irresistible force. This, no. this is where you don't like the 13. Yeah. But yeah, that's of course, still a high otherwise, number. You know, that would be irresistible if it were not, you know, Skaven. Rolling dice. Yeah. Um, it is still 14. Yeah. Wait, 12, 13, no, 15. 15. That sorry, is it, 15. No, no, not at all. Um, that's a high roll. Jesus, do I just do I just scroll first turn? You could. I could just scroll first turn. I'm a big fan <sighs> of scrolling early. Yeah. Especially then because you're in combat. Yeah. And your scrolls are gone, your magic's probably then, Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? It. I'm gonna use my I'm gonna use my rune of spell breaking right. straight up. Get it out of here. Spell breaking is gone. I have, you know, I've brought out my little rune and just sucked the power into it and, exactly. and it's exploded. There it goes. All right, gone. All right. Skis. All right. Throw, throw the rest of your warp lightnings at me, right. mate. So I will do exactly the same thing from this warp lock engineer. Yes, sir. At a lower charge value at the unit of Vine Breakers. Yep. Now I will measure that because that may not be within 24. Ah, oh, now you are for no, sure. No, it's just for it. sure. Okay. Yes, indeed. Okay, warp lightning casts only five or more. That's Getting it six. on a six. Yep. You get it on a six. Um, I'll throw three dice at it. It's, it's gone. gone. It is very gone. Yes. Good dwarves. Good. Resist the magic. Exactly the same thing. Bring Found it again. Item. Okay, yes. Item. So this and just happens auto now? Happens auto. Now, if I'm correct, Storm Demon is the name of the spell. Um, on a roll of one, the bound item is kaput. Oh, okay. So let's see what happens. Now you're good. It's still rough. Um, and so I need a four to get rid yeah, of it. Yeah, the, right? the um, power level is four. And you've got no other spells that you're throwing. There, well, there's nothing else I can do. Nothing here, else so in range. Yeah, there's Not nothing else there that I can well, do. Well, here we go. Oh! oh! <laughs> Three. Okay. Well, you got something off, mate. That is bad luck. There's going to be a D6 strength five hits on the Iron Breakers. Three. three. I can live with three. Okay. Uh, it's going to be threes to wounds. Uh, threes to wounds. 
Oh, Ooh, only one of them. That's Rough. Right. Okay, so that's negative two to their three up. It's going to be a five up armor save. No, oh. I get a one. All right, so a single brave iron breaker does bite the dust. Okay, and is is this that end? Magic phase? Yeah, that's it. And the only reason he died was he, he didn't watch Ratatouille. <laughs> so, uh, what can you do? It's a great movie. It's, it's a great movie. movie. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, that is the end of the magic phase. Uh, coming back with the shooting phase. All right, Skaven, turn one shooting phase. Where are we starting, Christoph? I'll tell you what, let's start with something interesting, because uh -huh. I think it's something that people don't necessarily feel it all the time, and that's the, the Screaming Bell. Sweet, yes. So how the Screaming Bell works, I won't go into too much detail. Suffice it to say, you can roll two dice or three dice. Mm -hmm. If you roll a double or a treble, something goes wrong. Okay. So I'm gonna keep my risk mitigation strategies as low as possible and use two dice. Love that. And let's see what happens when I ring the bell. So ding dong. Oh, okay. okay. Double six immediately. That is not good. So right. let's read out what happens. Yeah, yeah, hit me. Hit me the with the knowledge. The effect roll on the chart still applies as normal. I'll get to that in a second. Lovely. The distorted resonance of the bell causes both the Gracia and the unit pushing the bell to suffer D3 strength 2 hits each with no armor saves allowed. Okay. So okay. let's resolve the injury first. So, so do you roll separately for the Gracia and the unit, or do you just roll a single D3? Uh, suffer D3, oh, I guess causes and the unit pushing the belt suffer D3. Yeah, I guess we can just do it once. Okay, I mean, I, I, I would not probably sure. roll it no, separately. No, let's do it separately. I think let's separately. separately. We'll, do, we'll do the unit first. Three, D3, three takes two. two. So two strength, two, so wounding on fives. Five. So one, one. Oh, okay. yeah. one's dead. One's right. dead. One's dead. We've lost a single clan rat. Well, I'm happy about that because that means that the yeah, BSB. Yeah, he's fit in there. He's on the tray. tray. Love that. <laughs> dead. The silver lining. We're always looking yeah. for the silver lining. Gracia. D3 on the Gracia. Two. Two. Okay, okay, so again, Still fives on fives. To wound. In fives. Oh he's all right. Ooh. Very nice. Very nice. All right, so what does is, what is a double six give us, though? What okay. does it do? All Skaven units on the battlefield are subject to hatred against all enemies until the next Skaven shooting phase. Now that's not very useful. Not at this point. No, no. so... But okay. okay. It's random, and random is Skaven nickname, so... <laughs> we're just gonna have to deal with it that's as we so go. It's so random, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, sick. Awesome. That's the bell done. Uh, not, not the greatest start for the old bell, it's no. cost you a clan wrap. Um, where do you want to go next? I guess it would be the guess weapon next, right? Yeah, well, yeah, it's not actually a guess weapon. Oh. It's, it's you point and you fire a certain range. Right. But I tell you what, for fun, let's start with it. Cool. So how this one will work is this thing fires 8d6. That's the range. And you just you just point it at the direction you want. Is point that right? and fire. Yeah, yeah, point okay. And fire. It's like driving an automatic, point and steer. <laughs> Very so good. I'm actually going to leave it in the same trajectory that it is at the moment. So Sweet. basically, if this goes through, it's going to fry a clan rat. I couldn't care less. <laughs> You gotta play Skaven the way you gotta play Skaven. Yeah, you do. And it's gonna likely hit your iron breakers. Yeah, most likely. likely zap through there. So that's the plan. Yeah. All right. So yeah, it looks like it's clipping across my general and two other iron breakers, and yep, that's it. And yeah, that's it. That's it. Maybe Easy. one crew. Maybe one crew on well, the. Well, we've got to see how how far this thing's gonna fire first. So let's have a look at the distance. Likely, what's gonna happen. All I'm going to do is fry a rat. Or, more likely, I'm just going to misfire. All right, how far does she go? Well, she goes pretty far. Okay. So we've got 10, 22, 25? 25, 25, 25 inches. Uh, don't, no, 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 that's out. Bugger, but will she's falling short. And it's firing a rat on a two? This is the strength of the shot. Oh, oh very good. Four. Four, okay, on so, a three then. On a three, I zap my own rat. Come on, be skaven. <laughs> <laughs> Go cannon, go! Oh, yeah! Wow, ridiculous, all right. Worth a try. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely worth a try. Worth a try. Now let's go for the more reliable Skaven shooter. Indeed, dirt. That Indeed. is an oxymoron, but <laughs> nevertheless. Bring the Gisales. Yeah, so the Gisales are gonna fire straight at the Iron Breakers. Yes, sir. Now they have a 36 inch range, so, so they, they should easily be able to reach out. Absolutely in range, yep. touch. no doubt. Long um, range. Yep, so negative just negative one. one. So it would be fours to hit, it's now fives to hit. Indeed, bring it on to not all fun. Now, there is a one in there. Uh -oh. Now, Giselles have a rule for reliability. <laughs> on a roll of a one, I may have shot myself. So let's go and have a quick check, because I always forget 
exactly what it is. Here. I'm roll pretty sure you have to roll another one now. Correct. If the second dice result is result is a two to a six, the shot is a dud. Okay, just don't if roll, I roll one. another one. Easy. No. Yeah, yes, wait. But this way. Nothing hit. Mate, very what bad. a rough shooting phase and magic phase. That was not the the turn one that the no. scheduler were hoping for. But look, it is what it is. The way I, I see this is, I baited a scroll. Yeah, and, and you I did that bait, effectively. Yeah, you did baiting that. a scroll is good. Yeah, man, um, you got my one and only. From here on, I have to yeah. match you with my my limited pool of dice. Exactly. So. And they're frenzied, which yeah, is good because slaves are cheap. Lovely. Um, slaves are cheap, and having hatred on them is sorry, uh, frenzy on them is not too bad. You're not lying. Yeah, yeah. you're not lying. But that is it. That is the end of Skaven turn one. Okay, dwarf turn one. This is where everything is before the movement phase, and this is where everything ends up. All right, so the whole middle section has just pushed forward four inches, just putting a bit of threat into the middle. Um, uh, the flanking unit has gone a full six, boom, putting some pressure on the flank, you know. We're either going to be pulling, um, you know, some attention from the monks over here, or just putting pressure on their flanks, if and when that happens. I'm not 100% on this, but I'm doing it, so there we are. Um, I ummed and ahed a bunch about this unit because um, I question whether I'm actually within 24 inches to shoot here or not. And what I kind of wanted to do was uh, pull back or reform just so that I potentially had a bit of an arc on where these guys might turn up. They still scatter, potentially, unless he rolls the direct hit. So they could scatter anywhere, but I don't know. I've decided to leave it and I'm going to try and shoot them. I've got a feeling I'm out of range, but we will see when that time comes. So that is dwarf movement phase done. Let's go into what I like to call the dwarf phase. The shooting phase. It really is the dwarf phase. Yeah, baby, here we go. All right, and it's always guess weapons first. So, um, uh, and look, this is, this is the stone thrower's debut on the channel. It's not his debut game. He's had a couple of games since he's been painted, but it is his debut on the channel. So we're going to start with him, and he is going to line up. That dastardly lightning cannon, he's gonna shift, but, 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 and look right over at him. And I am going to guess a certain amount of inches. I'm gonna say 36. I'm gonna 30, say 36, 36 inches. Could you, could you measure that yeah, out for yeah, me, yeah, mate? Yeah. Pass me the tip and let me know how we go. That is bang on 36. Oh, it looks like I'm sure. Bit short. Oh, so oh, I'm on the front so of it. It's, it's on there Ooh. where the dice is. So I'm hitting it? Yeah. I'm yep. hitting it? I'm yep, hitting it currently. Ooh, baby. All right, and so now I roll the scatter and artillery dice. Um, and that is where she's gonna land. However, because I have the rune of accuracy inscribed into it, I can re-roll the artillery dice. So I've got two chances to get that little direct hit. Here we go, here we go. Whoa! All right, it's currently <laughs> scattering 10 inches away. So it's going nowhere unless I can re-roll this and get the direct hit. Come on, baby. This is it. Debut! No! <laughs> oh, oh, actually. Ah, uh, that, that could <laughs> be favorable. It so could indeed, sir. Can we agree that's probably yeah, yeah. correct? For yeah, I'm happy with that. I think you may clip something. Ooh, there could so be a I clip. Think you're... It looks like I'm landing right next you're to there. it. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna get some partials I'm gonna there. get some partials. What does that look like? Three partials. Three partials? Yeah, all those three are just clipping. All right, there. so I'm getting some rats on four pluses. I get two of them. That's it. Strength four, so killing on threes. Ah, two Actually, of them, sir. Will get a save. Oh, very good. Shield, what do you got? And I believe it's light, light armor. armor. So you'd get a six up, sir. Yeah, six up. Oh no, wait, save. no, you don't. There's, there's no saves from stone throws. No saves. From, that's directly under. Is it? Yeah, that's directly under. Snap. All right. Well, there. Go for it, mate. Six up. Six up. Ah, oh, oh, you okay. saved yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Lovely. One step. Very good. Very good. All right. Not the best, but hey, you killed something first shot. I'll take sure it. Directly under. Killed a rat. Oh yeah, look, we'll, we'll check it. We'll, we'll keep, take keep another one if I need can, be. I can, I can have a look while you're Lovely, it. yes. Well, we're moving on to the cannon, the cannon with the rune of forging, which allows me to re-roll the artillery dice. Um, really, that's the beauty of uh, dwarven artillery, is that being able to put runes on them just makes them that, that little bit more, I don't know, a bit more of a sure thing. Um, I say that, and this thing is probably about to blow up now. <laughs> <laughs> um, but what I've decided to do with my cannon is I am going to try and line up a shot directly at that there Warplock Engineer. And so if I, ran, if I get this perfectly, it's going to hit him and then bounce through a rank of those Storm Vermin. So usually you're not allowed to just, you know, target characters, but if they're out by themselves, one of the things you can target them with freely is guess weapons. 
You're correct. No armor saves? No armor saves. No armor correct. saves. Sorry, I don't know where I got that from. Ah, man, not a problem. Not a problem. You yeah. know, Warhammer is such a, like, you can't hold all the rules in yeah. your mind at all times. Exactly. That's why we got the books. Um, sweet. So two rats. You killed two rats first turn. A not exactly what I wanted, but I'll take it. So, yes, I am going to pivot this little man. And I'm lining up that warp lock engineer. Hopefully hitting him and going straight through a rank. So I gotta land it like right on him. What's your guess? That is a, that's a wonderful question. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go 25 inches. Could you measure me up please, Certainly. Christoph? 25, that's 25. 25 inches, boom. Oh, I've yeah, overshot. Basically right on top of him, but just in front. Basically Dang. where that dice is. Dang, so I'm going over him no matter what. this way, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, straight. So you could still hit some storm vermin. Yeah, but I probably missed the guy, so I'm going an extra two inches. Yeah. So yes, I will just clear him with two inches. I don't, I don't clip the back of his base, do no, I? It's no, it's just because it's just Damn over it. the top. All right, I overshot a bit. Um, you right. may hit some storm vermin because you're traveling this way. Totally. So I'm going an extra. Hua! That Ten inches. Yes. Yeah, so I'm going through four ranks of storm vermin. Yep. Killing them on twos. Jeez. That's Hurrah. it. Well, one survives, but three get pasted. Excellent. So there's a puff of smoke and whoosh, it just flies right over the top of that warplock engineer. You know, ruffles his fur, hits the ground, and boom, bounces through the storm vermin, killing three of them. Not enough for a panic check but enough to do some damage. Excellent. Yeah, this is I'm killing things. I'll take it. I'll take Peter's going to be very angry with you. <laughs> Animal advocacy. You know, these are just rats. Hey, man. These are, you know, no one likes rats. Screw rats. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. So that's the guess weapons done. Um, I'll save this till last because that's always either the most devastating for you or me because yes. this thing often just blows up. Um, so it's actually only blown up once on the channel, but the last game that you and I had yeah. together, first turn, first turn, boom. Me and Christoph have had a couple of like get to two know games. you games. Yeah, yeah two games, high once elves. against your high elves and yeah. once against the Skaven. Yeah. And yeah, first turn against the high elves, boom, gone, gone yeah. immediately. So I'm very nervous. <laughs> it's last showing wasn't good, um, but let's go on to the Thunderous. Let's find out if I made a good decision here. Um, could you measure me out 24 inches? I'm going to go for the slaves. Slaves. Give me the slaves. That is 24. Thank you, sir. Ooh, yes, yes. Yeah. Yes, all of them. What yeah. about this forest? Will we do you think that may Oh no, because Because I can I can get to Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, I can get to any part. Yeah, no, yeah. that's it. That's it. Just Beauty. All right, so you know, it wasn't a complete bad decision. No, 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 you get some shots. I'll in. take it. And um, so I'm getting ten shots because I'm on a hill. Oh boy. Ten shots on the hill, over half range. So needing fives. Oh, healthy. Cool. Healthy. Four hits. Four hits is healthy. Um, and wounding on threes? Killing, killing on threes. Killing yeah, on killing threes. threes. Rah. Killing three of them. Hell right. yeah. We're killing rats. That's what we're here to do. Exactly. Liberate the mines and kill the rats. Um, okay. And then lastly, what are you in range of? He's got an 18 inch range. I'm going to declare it mm -hmm. and then roll the artillery dice before we measure because that's the way this works. Correct. Um, I honestly think these two are equidistant to it. It seems pretty like yeah. that. It seems like it. And I think the bigger threat is the monks. Yeah. So I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to declare the monks. I'm going to do a little pivot, but I'm going to do my little pivot on the dance floor. Um, and here we go. It's going to do this many shots. Ha! Ah, eight. Oh. Ooh, that's a big one. All right. Now we need to measure it, sir. Could you, could you please 18, measure me? Right? 18. Yes, sir. Am I in? Am yep. I am? Oh yeah, my god, I've done it! Yes! Eight shots. That's gonna hurt. That should do a little bit of something. And so these are eight automatic hits. That is now, pretty gross. They are tough four because they're plague monks. Oh! Toughness four. Very Everything good. else is tough three. It is only strength five, so it's still just gonna be killing on threes. Three. Yes. But it would have been twos if they were toughness three. True yeah. that, true that. That is a deal. That is a big deal. But still, every three up here is a dead monk! Okay, I failed three of them, which means uh, five, a sir. Five. We, we mince a rank. We pivot. We unload the barrels. Doom, 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 and just a rank of plague months disappears in smoke and flayed robes and burning fur and flesh. Yes. So that would be a panic, but they're frenzied. But, so no panics. So no panics. No yeah. panics. Hell yeah, I am very stoked with that as that, turn one shooting a, phase. That's a decent shooting phase. Yeah, man, look at that, look at that pile. Mm. Look at that pile of death. 
four storm vermin, one, two, three, four, five normal clan rats, and a rank of plague monks. That's yeah. that's decent. Hell yeah, that's pretty good. Hell yeah. All right, that's a good start, guys. That was a good start. You know, I didn't get the uh, the priority targets that I was looking for, but everything killed something. So yeah. Nice. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. Um, and so that is it. There's no combat phase. So that is the end of Dwarf Turn 1. Coming back with Skaven Turn 2. Okay, Skaven Turn 2. And the first thing we need to deal with is this little token right here. So on a four up, they're turning up, mate. Let's have a look. Good luck and Godspeed. Oh, Ooh, they've done it. No. They have. No. <laughs> now. So, how do we do this, mate? Okay, so this is random. So when the team emerges, roll a scatter dice and an artillery dice. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to roll... Nah, I'm just gonna roll them both. Let's do it. All right, let's see what happens. Yep, Boom. Right. Oh, that's not too bad. Dude, that's, that's not pretty, too bad. Pretty damn good. So what I'll do is I'll put the first so, rat As you can see, there. two inches are that away. So they're gonna be like right here somewhere. All right, well look, I'll tell you what, we'll be back once they are placed. And this is where they have ended up. Goodbye, organ gun. Good night, sweet prince. Hey man, you killed you killed five uh, five plague monks. You did a good job already. I'll take it. I'll have to. <laughs> um, so that is it. So now, sir, we declare charges. Charges, yeah, that's. I'm it. assuming you've at least got one. <laughs> yeah. Look, that's that's a no-brainer. They'll Indeed, charge sir. organ gun, yep, and for our viewers. Got? Um, tunnel teams can charge on the turn that they emerge. That they can. That's so once so the position's nasty. been done, the team emerges at the beginning of the turn. Uh, this is the very first thing they do. They can act normally, even declare a charge. Perfect. So yep. it makes sense. They're tunneling up. And they're yeah, running. man. They're doing their job. They're hungry for dwarf meat. And they will what get it. What do dwarves taste like? I imagine. Kind of, yeah, I mean, porky. Yeah, pork with beer. Yeah. Yeah. yeah exactly. Beer. Yeah. 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 A very a, matured. A marinated pork beer. <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay, all right. So yes, I, I have to hold because I'm a I'm an artillery team. Um, anything else, sir? No, that's it. Look, these two units are frenzied, so if they're in range of something, they have we to charge. Have to. You're I definitely think not. We 10 know inches. that's not ten inches. Nah, we don't need to measure so that. So that's it for charges. Just the tunnel team. Okay, cool. And there's no compulsory moves. No. So moving on to remaining moves. So this is where everything is prior to the movement phase, and. This is where it has ended up. All right, uh, take us through it, Christoph. What has happened? All right, so we've moved the plague monks over here to try and counter this threat. Very good. I'm not optimistic, <laughs> but I just want to hold them there for a little bit of time yep. until everything else can move. Got to deal with them. Warplock engineers advance. Now, the big big change probably here has been the slaves. I don't like the idea of slaves going up against ironbreakers. They no. hit them like... Oh, well, like, like a rat literally getting smashed to pieces by a big burly man. So indeed, indeed. That's not going to go the well. The thickest of men. <laughs> yeah, so, so my idea here is that they're going to try and go for slayers because they should be able to at least kill a few. Totally. As yep. opposed to not being getting through iron breakers. Yeah, they've got no armor at all, so mm. yes, yeah, so you're not just going to bounce off them. Yeah, and they're frenzied. So the units at the back have moved up to support. The rattling gun has moved up so he can actually see things now. Mm -hmm. uh, Warplock engineer is just hiding in the forest. He can still see out, but yeah. obviously a bit limited. And over here on the flank, we've got a bit of movement. Wall fire throw is now threatening a bit. It mm -hmm. is move or shoot, so they won't be firing this turn. Mm -hmm. Clan rats have moved up, and obviously missiles have stayed still so they can shoot. Of course. Yep. Now, just one question with him. Yeah. So, he wouldn't be able to see forward through the... Correct. He, he would he, just... He see everything on yeah, this everything side. from, like, that arc Correct. outwards, yeah. right? Okay. So, okay. If, if he wants to zap the Thunderers, no way. Yeah, yeah. No way. Like... Uh, yeah, he could pull. He, oh, could, yeah. he could draw a line of sight to them. Easily for sure. to them, yeah, but yeah. Nice. not to anyone else. Nice, love it. All yeah. right, cool. That is the movement phase done. Mm -hmm. Let's do some magic again, mate. Let's yeah. uh, let's see if I can weather another one. All Here right. we go. Two base, four for the Gracier, two for the Bell, one for each Warplunk Engineer, one for the Supercharged Warp Accumulator, and one to see if we get an extra dice. Yes, we do. That's Damn. a four. Damn, very good. And I've got my phone. Yes. <laughs> Feels bad. <laughs> All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're going to start with Frenzy again. Death Ooh, Frenzy, because why not? It's yeah, a good spell. It is, it's a very good spell. We'll see how we roll. Who's getting it this time? Now, I'm gonna try and throw Death Frenzy on the Storm Vermin. Oh, hell yeah. So this guy's gonna pop it on the Storm Vermin. Hell yeah. Three dice to cast. All right, make it happen, sir. Five, six, seven, eight, ten. Nine, ten. Get it on cast. a ten. 
Uh, do I want Storm Vermin with Frenzy? I mean, I don't really. Well, no one does. But no, who would? I guess a Skaven player? Um, yeah. But uh, you've got a whole lot of Warp Lightnings coming my way, which I would like to stop as well. Also, at this point, with you being close to me, are some of your other spells in threat range now? Well, yes, but I've done a bit of a boo-boo here, and yeah. Pestilent Breath or, st or um, Vermintide... Is it all going to go through them? Oh, yeah. I mean, they're not slaves. <laughs> they're but, slaves, um, mate. <laughs> yeah. They're very short-ranged spells to begin with. Yeah. So Pestilent Breath is going to be out, because Pestilent Breath is this. Right. So that's not going to do it. Right. Um, but, yeah, well, I think this is a setup turn. Yeah. Turn two is always, for me getting your pieces into position. For sure. Yeah. Um, a 10. A 10. Do I throw... Ah, look, you can have it, mate. Have it. Take right. it. Give him, give him your frenzy. All right, I'm going to use this green dice now to mark frenzy, Sweet. Yeah, just yeah. so that we don't invite any confusion. Love that. All right, there we go. Lovely. So they are frenzied. Yeah, pestilential green frenzy. Indeed. Dig right. it. Those power dice have been spent. All right, give me, hit me with your next shot. Storm... Uh, not Storm Vermin. Warp Lightning. Yes. This guy, overcharging. Three At. dice. At the Iron Breakers. Makes sense. Cast at a nine. Yeah. Let's do it. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Ooh, eleven. Eleven. I don't like eleven. Get out of here on four dice. It's, it's gone. gone. It's gone. Get it gone. All right, I'm down to six power dice. Around. Yep. <laughs> okay. He is going to cast exactly the same thing using his bound item. Yep. At the Iron Breakers. Very good. First, I have to see if the bound item expires. Ah, yes, on a one. Does it expire? No. No, she's good. Still good. All right, so I'm going to use my final dice on a four up. It does not happen. Get it out of here. No. No, it doesn't. No, happen. it doesn't work. All right, I'll so. I'll keep my power dice pull separate. Yeah, I'm at your mercy. <laughs> D6. Three. three. I can, yeah, live, I can three live with three. Strength fives. On threes. On threes. Two. Two. Two, five up. Armor saves. I nail them oh. both. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh. Old copper. Yeah. All right. <laughs> There you go. Okay, okay. He's going to do exactly the same thing, but this time he's casting the yes, actual spell. Yes, using, using his power, as it were. Five. That is a five. That is a five, sir. All right. You've got nothing left. No, sir. No, I'm I'm at your mercy. <laughs> so, D6. Two. Two. Oh, mate. Okay, okay. Results On threes. Here. At least you got both of them. At least you got both of them. That oh, is a three and a six. Good. Yeah, it often seems to be. Oh, oh that was yeah. almost another one, but you do kill another one, sir. I'll take my classic minis first. Look at them. I need to put shields on these boys. Anyway, um, the classic minis are gone, and now it's just all the fresh beauties. <laughs> all right, you got one, mate. What do you got left? Well, that's the thing is I don't have too much left. Um, there's Death Frenzy has already been cast. Pestilental Breath is a flame template. Vermintide, I'm just going to end up hitting my slaves. Mm. So I think that's actually me. I think in, in future I may not actually roll that dice to get the extra power dice because there's a chance it can expire. Totally. So I don't need it right now. No, you really so. don't. Not yet, at least. No. Not until you get a little closer and maybe you don't have your front quite yeah. so close. The way I see it, I'm just getting frenzy across the board here. And you're doing that and effectively so far. Yeah, <laughs> and I think the added cool. bonus here is that I have to charge, which is a bit baity, but yeah, yeah. they're now immune to panic. Yeah. Because they're in the site, because they're frenzied. Big so deal. That's you a big shoot deal. them, they'll just stay there. Yeah. Which and is look, nice. That, that is nice. All right. Well, shall we roll into the shooting phase? Let's go straight into it. Do you have any guess weapons? This this well, is a guess not, weapon, No, it's not, remember, it's not a guess weapon. Oh, this one. This one. He can't fire. Oh, because he moved. Fire. Move or fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So these guys are now in good position. Yeah, so okay. they can't shoot this turn. Got it. Yeah. Got it. So All I'm right. going to start with um, with El Zappo. Now I'm going to be very careful with El Zappo, because I could zap my own gutter runners if it goes that far. You could indeed, sir. Shoot it in a fashion in which it's just going to do this. Uh, this isn't for, re for measurement, I'll flip no, it yeah, upside down. Fine. But suffice it to say it shoots in this direct line. Okay, so you'd be going through three ranks? Yeah. Three ranks if it goes all the way? Yeah. Sweet. Easy. Sweet. All right, sir. Good luck and Godspeed. Oh, yeah, that's, that's the ticket. This <laughs> is how far it shoots. 28 inches. 28 That's inches. Not amazing. Sounds like it'll probably hit them, but maybe not go all the way through. Correct. Yeah. It goes through One. A, a single ranger. A single it's, guy. Heading, it's hitting a single iron breaker. Yeah. Not the best, bugger. Let's see how strong the shot is. Four. Four. So do you, you, does this like ignore armor saves? Surely. No, I think it's actually um, it's just based on the strength of the shot. Wow. Save normal. Okay. Yeah. Shit. So it'll be neg one. Yeah. Neg all right. One. So it'll be a four up to wound him. You do, yep. you do, so it's just going to be a four-up armor save on the Dwarven Gromril and shields! Yes, and we weather it. The front rank raises the shield and boozz, the lightning just is over the top. Hey, yeah, doing well, this guy. Yeah, I know, man. I'm He's like, uh, last game. Yeah, <laughs> indeed, indeed, sir. Yeah. Um, okay, 
Giselles? Yeah, Giselle time. Giselles. So, same thing. I don't like that wombo combo unit. I'm yeah, going to try man. and get rid of it. They are my thick boys. you got to yep. do something about them. So, six shots hitting on five. Yes, sir. Mm. Two? 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 Seems I have to see relatively if these statistical. Ones oh, yeah. Just don't roll another one. Don't do that. You're okay, all right. You're all right. Now, Giselles hurt. Giselles is strength six. Ooh. So that's going to be... Um, strength 6 armor piercing as well, right? Yes, correct. So that's yeah. going to be 2s to... No, toughness... Oh, to yeah, 2s. Yeah, 2s twos. Twos for a 6 up. Do they even get a save? Um, so they've got a 3 up, negative 3 is a armor 6 up. Armor piercing. Oh, armor piercing, so no, no, save. no, no save, mate. 2s to kill. Ah! Do that. Yeah, boom. Very nice. Yeah, those are scary. I could do something about those. Yeah, <laughs> the thing is, though, the weight of fire, it's only six shots. A lot of them are going to miss. Yeah, they got them are on five, yeah. so... Yeah. They're great skill. for things like Chosen Chaos Knights. Mm. They get very arrogant. You just pop a couple shots at them, <laughs> and they go back home. Chosen Chaos Knights are very arrogant. <laughs> oh, yeah. Max yeah. arrogant. Send them back to the, to the McDonald's car park. Yeah, man, get the hell out of here. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, I think that's shooting phase done. Oh, the bell. Oh yes, the bell does a thing. It's in the shooting phase. Ding ding, baby. Ding, All ding. Right. All right, no more doubles. I really don't like doubles. I'll go on, give us another one. Go on. Ah, eight. 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 What does an eight do? Well, that's completely useless. No! <laughs> All cavalry units and riddle monsters on the battlefield. Buh. None. Mm. Must take a panic test. Cool. Undead yeah. cavalry and riddle models must take a leadership test as if their general has been deport destroyed. Yeah, we don't really, uh, we don't do those things. No, so, no, no. Who, rides, who rides things? All right, two, you, two rounds of ding, and so far it's been big swing and no ding. Yeah, look, look <laughs> it hasn't been the best shooting. I was really hoping to whittle that unit down a little bit more with yeah, these combined. I mean, you've pretty yeah. much killed a rank, but, and they're ex they are expensive. expensive. It's yeah. expensive. Losing a rank is always going to hurt me massively. I think what I've been banking on is warp light to do a bit more and it just fair. hasn't been it's you've fair. just been saving all the saves yeah man well, I haven't been able to get the spell off yeah yeah it's been tough but so. that is uh, I think that's it that's it and I think that's it so that is the end of scave oh Combat. yes yes indeed I completely forgot to be Combat the saddest only. the saddest of combats for me okay so, so it's going to be two four five five in combat sir Swinging Easy. at my crew. Now they have extra um, hand weapon. Ooh, did I pay for the extra hand weapon? No. Oh no, they have two hand weapons. Yeah, nice. Just but I've paid base. for poison. Oh, gross. So there'll be auto sixes or auto sixes. Wound. Now, how many in base to base? Five. Five. You okay, got so five attack attacks. And, uh, yes, indeed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So Good your weapon, weapon skill is four. Uh, yes, it is. All so wounds. I'm also four. All right, so it's so four. So hitting on fours with sixes auto wounding. Yeah. There's only one auto wound, which okay. is a bit sad. But and you've got a shit ton of hits. Yeah, that's not bad. It's a lot so, of hits. All right, so one single auto wound, and then the rest are winning on fives. Yes, winning on fives. Oof. One. Two. Okay. Two saves. So two saves at six up, because they have light armor. Can I save one of them? Give me one of them! No, no. I'll, I'll die too. Um, I'll leave the muscle boy, the crippler. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and he's going to swing back. He's mad. He's seen two of his dearest friends and compatriots torn down by filthy, filthy little knives. He misses. Oh. <laughs> he was very distraught, apparently. Yes. Um, okay, sir. Uh, let's do some combat res. So you got two wounds and oh, no you outnumber way. me. So I'm losing by three. Yes. Um, One in your BSB. And my general. So I have leadership 10 down to leadership 7. Rerollable. Huh? That's an eight. Rerollable, huh? Oh! That's an eight. He's running. He's broken. Um, crap. Okay, so, so I'm going to do something very. Re oh, actually, it's your turn next, isn't it? It is. No, you know what? Because I don't know how many. If you're in an arc, the whole. It's not the whole model. It's not the whole unit that can see. It's unit, it's model to model, right? In terms of shooting, I'm thinking about your thunder is shooting them if I hold. Ah, oh, right, 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 right. Yeah. Um, I, look, I, to be honest, I think it is model to model. Yeah. Um, so it'll only be a couple of shots. Yeah, at best, maybe, maybe not any, to be honest. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to try and hold for restraint. You're going to restrain? Yeah, I'm going to restrain because you can't rally him because he's one dude. Indeed. And I don't, I don't think that counts with with artillery crews. Oh, okay, fair enough. Um, um, so, well, oh, check. Oh, I'll oh. check to be sure. But anyway, I'm going to see. So you're going to? Well, here's you're the thing. I'm just thinking because you're going to flee backwards. So and the last thing I want to do, I'm going to be fleeing this way because I have to avoid my my own units as much as possible and get as direct away from you as possible. So I'm going going this way. Mm, then, I, then I'm probably going to clip your slayers. Quite possibly, yes. And that's the last thing I want to do because they're going to shred me. So no, I'm holding. Holding? Yep. All right. Test to restrain. All right, test to restrain. 
past seven. Just, their leadership is seven, Ooh, so they've just. All right, held. so they're hanging out, yeah, and man. I am going to run. Uh, what is that? Minus one. That's eight, eight inches. He's popping eight inches this way. Okay. Um, we will be. Oh yeah, thanks, man. Um, we'll just we'll have him. He so, abandons the gun, yeah. and eight inches. Boom. Over to here. Um, the gun is currently oh, unmanned. It's unmanned, but it's not destroyed. She yeah. stays there we'll for have to now. Check. I'm not sure if a single guy can rally. Look, we'll we'll figure out exactly how this yeah. works. Um, for now, if if it, if he can't rally, I'll just remove the things. If not, but anyway, this is where it is now. Well done, yeah. You murked it, as you That's should it. have. You just should have. Statistically, that was going to happen. Yep. Um, so that is it. That is the end of Skaven, turn two. All right, dwarves, turn two. First thing is rally fleeing troops. So yes, we had a look, and a, uh, a crew of an artillery, as far as uh, in terms for uh, rallying, they are always considered to be at their original strength. So yes, a single man can totally rally as an artillery crewman. Now I am within the, just within the bubble of my BSB and well and truly within the bubble of my general. So I've got a re-rollable 10 for that man to rally. Yeah, he rallies. Didn't even need it. Good on you, mate. <laughs> and he's just gonna, he's just gonna turn around and look and curse at these filthy rat men. You filthy little men, you, you beasts. <laughs> um, all right, so that's that done. And now it's declare charges. And I think I've got a couple here, to be honest. Yeah, I think I may have pushed a little too far ahead. Yeah, I thought, man. Oh, the doors never charge. And Indeed. then I realized that's actually, I think I screwed up. I reckon I might've got it. I mean, it's we, we can't tell until we've measured. Now we had a look at the arc here. I put my little thing down and I checked it. And in terms of am I in his flank or not, it is splitting the front rank down the center. So it's like right down the center. So um, 50, it's 50-50, 50-50. Yeah. So look, both of these units are gonna declare a charge on those rats. And because I'm frenzied, I cannot flee. Oh, of course, mm, of I cannot course. Flee. Um, so let's 50-50 if I'm in the front yep. or, or the flank. So, so one to three, it's in the flank. Four yep. to six, it's in the front. I can do that. Four to six front. I'm in the, flank. in the flank. All yeah, right. We're going to measure this up and then we'll be back with the results. This is where everything has ended up. Okay. So this unit of warriors with the runesmith have just done a full refilm to start facing at this incoming threat. This was what, how this ended up. Um, ugh, so I, yeah, I screwed up big time. Mate, that was a, that was a whoopsie, no doubt. Yeah. Um, I, but guessing ranges. In, I thought I was an inch out. And it was very close, yeah. but unfortunately they were all in this unit had like, you know, they were within five inches to hit the corner and then get the free close the door. This unit was able to wheel a half inch to maximize as much as they could hit and then close the door. Obviously not getting everybody, but probably getting enough. It looks like there'd just be one guy, one guy on the edge yep, that won't be guy. fighting. Um, and these guys have just, you know, wheeled, pushed, wheeled to, you know, weather this fight. We'll see how they go. On our first game, these, these two units uh, just mashed heads for like three turns. I eventually got the upper hand, but that was after losing combat multiple times. And mm. that was when they were in range of a BSB, which they are no longer. So we'll see how that flank goes. Pretty happy with this. I yeah, yeah that's rough, mate. That's no, super I, yeah, rough. I, that's my bad. But the thing I'm concerned about there is um, they'll die. There's no there's no two ways about it. Most but likely, we're gonna start yes. clipping into everything else, which is bad for me. Yeah, and exactly because they would. There's there's no avenue for them to run anywhere to be able to not run to to be able yeah. to get away. So they would essentially just run away backwards. Oh, look, which... I think there's actually a fair chance that you will kill everyone in that unit. Jesus. All right. Well. Let's see how that goes. Yep. But that is it. That is the end of the movement phase. We are skipping straight past the magic phase, as always, because dwarves are not into that kind of thing. Nope. So, here we go. Turn two. Turn two? <laughs> turn two dwarf phase. The shooting phase. And again, coming in with the guess weapons. I don't know what I want to do here. I don't, want to, I don't know if I want to commit this to that cannon again. Because currently, I this know that's a dangerous quagmire to fire in. Isn't it? Yeah. Isn't it massively? Um, uh, to be honest, I want to get rid of those Gisales. Those Gisales are making me sad. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. But I guess that cannon could shoot into combat, couldn't it? It just goes straight through as a line, oh, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, no it just it doesn't what his own thing does. It just goes zap. It doesn't yeah. care what's there. It, it just ignores goes zap. all of the basic shooting conventions. Yeah. <laughs> it just goes zap and just zaps. Love that. So it is still a threat. It hasn't, it's underperformed so far, but it's absolutely still a threat. Mm. 
Uh, and because I don't even have, I could, you know, I can definitely shoot at those guys without being too worried about hurting myself. Mm. I basically can't shoot at anything there without being no. in very big danger of hurting myself. Yeah. So it's kind of these guys, the cannon, the Gisales, maybe having another attempt to snipe him with my cannon. Mm. I do love character sniping with cannons. <laughs> it's kind of what I do. Um, so, ugh. yeah. Look, you know what, I'm gonna go again. I'm gonna go again, I'm gonna go for that cannon. Yep. Um, and I'm, I said 36 last time, I'm gonna go 37. So 37. I'm, a, I'm, you know, I'm a little deeper onto it. Actually, yeah, let's go 37. 37, an inch further onto it. Should you're get the you're right done. on the, the power play. Perfect. Perfect. Right Love, that. Love that. Love that. All right. right I'll roll this a little closer to it so we can get a bit of an idea. Four inches back. Might clip it, but most likely not. I need to get a direct hit. Direct hit! Four inches that away. Ooh, I don't think so I'm hitting anything. So it's right on top of there. Oh, yeah, look, I Sorry. don't think I'm even going to clip it. But Let me move the center so it's right on top nah, of there. Nah, definitely not. No. Yeah. Now, nah. two chances to get a direct hit. Come on, mate. Misfire. Indeed, you are you are correct, sir. Yeah, misfire is fun. <laughs> okay, cool. Mm, not so good this turn, mate. Um, cannon, cannon. Again, I don't think the cannon really has a whole lot of. I mean, well, I could actually, I could try and snipe that crew, right? There is also a, a tactic. It's a good tactic. Of the bell. And, no, no, no. What you can do is you shoot here and you hit your own iron breakers, and for every <laughs> iron breaker you hit, you get a bonus point. <laughs> Um, that's a good tactic. I you know like what? It. I don't mind. That's that's definitely worth <laughs> looking into a little. I might yeah, think yeah, about yeah. that All for right. another turn or game. More bonus points if you hit your He's got jokes. He's got mm. jokes, people. <laughs> it's, a good, it's a good game to play. You did. Um, well, so I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it again. I'm going to try and snipe the character. Thank you. Yes, the, the bushes. Are <laughs> um, the, I'm going to try for the character. What do I think? What do I need? What do I think? I'm going to go 17. 17. I'm going to go 17 inches, please. Let's see how it goes. Boom, that is on the front, sir. Right there. Love that. Okay, so as long as I don't get a 10, I should be landing it in front of him. Yeah. An 8 might even be run on top of him. Huh? An 8? Uh, I guess we'll have to find out. I, yeah. It actually might be over the top of him. Oh no! no yeah, I've gone far. over him. I've gone over him. So there's no point. Nah, nah, honest. nah. Yeah, <gasps> yeah ten, ten inches forward, lovely. Yeah. It just careens through the forest. Um, <laughs> if there was any other lower number, you would have been fine. Indeed, indeed. Mm. Like it was, you know, it was a fifty-fifty shot at that point. Mm. So, damn it, damn it, Artillery Hill. Um, okay, so then I've got these guys, um, and we've we've had a look at arcs and whatnot, and I've got two from the front rank and three from the back rank in arc to shoot these guys here. They are skirmishes, so it's a negative one to hit, but because you're within my half range, it's plus one to hit, so that equals out to a four up to hit. Mm -hmm. All right, so here we go. Hitting on fours. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh. that's a solid starting roll. And that now hurts. killing on threes. Ugh. No, oh. no! <laughs> I kill one, I kill one, so not enough to get that panic. Damn, damn, that sucks. And I can't split fire, that's not the way this works. No, this ain't 40K. No. <laughs> Um, okay, all right, that's, that is the shooting phase done, but we have a thick combat phase in the oh, middle look, here. this is bad. I think I'm in a Ooh, lot of trouble yeah, here. Yeah, look, I'll be um, very surprised if they hold. No, there's no way. They're yeah, slaves. Yeah. They have no save. Yep, and yep, you yep, have yep, yep, two chunky, chunky units. Yes, I do, sir. Full well, look. of very short men who've had a lot of beer. <laughs> So. Indeed. I'm going to start with the Slayers because who doesn't, yeah. whoops, who doesn't love seeing Slayers fight? So I've got, four. yeah, I've got four in contact. One is a champ. So boom, he's got three attacks. They've all got two hand weapons each. So then another three of them. Yeah. That's a bunch of attacks. They are weapon skill four. Hidden all threes. Hidden all threes. Ooh, we've missed Ooh, more than great. half of them. Killing on, what's your strength? It's only strength three. Uh, killing on fours. Only one! Wow, okay. We've killed a single one from the front rank, oh, so you will have three attacking back, if there are three left to attack back. Um, let's go on to the Iron Breakers. That was very bad. Very mm. bad! <laughs> um, let's do... You know um, why it was bad? Why was it bad? Because a slave is beneath the killing power of a slayer. <laughs> They're out there to hunt big things. It's true. There's that's, no random here. Yeah, none of them are like fulfilling their oaths by killing slave rats. Exactly. <laughs> They're not particularly enthused. It, it makes pathetic. sense. You're right. It makes sense. Yeah. Um, let's go. The next in initiative order would be my Thane Battle Standard Bearer. He's got four attacks because not he has. Not big chungus. 
No, because he's got a he's got a great weapon. Oh, good so point. he's going to be attacking last. But he but, charged. But he charged. Yes. But just in terms of initiative order. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Out of my guys, he's fighting last. Um, so it's going to be four from the the Thane, Thane Thorin, um, and he has four attacks because of the Rune of Fury, and he's going to be hitting on threes. Oof. Okay, he misses half. Strength. Oh boy. Uh, strength uh, plus one, so strength five. So he's killing on twos. Killing on twos, baby. Two. two he kills two rats personally. Swing it out with his runic hand weapon. Just boom, boom. All right, and then it's going to be three iron breakers from the front, and one is a champ. Mm -hmm. Boom, and they're hitting on threes because their weapon skill five again, missing half of them, hitting on threes. It's not the best. Uh, strength four, so killing on threes. threes. Another two. Another two, so side rank will not be getting to attack back, and now let's do the general. Let's do the lord, dwarf lord. Here he is. He's hitting on threes. Yeah, that's oh. atta boy. He's got a great weapon, so strength six. He's killing, he's cleaving on twos. Ah, oh. He gets two. Unbelievable. All right. All right, so the front side rank doesn't get to fight back, no. but you will have three rats fighting against the... Uh, they're, now they're, they're frenzy. Yeah, they so, are. So three attacks, so I get six attacks. Indeed, sir. So they're hitting on fours. Indeed. Oof. Okay. And they're wounding on fives. On fives. Oh. You do kill one. Yeah, there you You've go. got no armor, so you kill a brave, and he goes down. Not really fulfilling his oath, <laughs> because you know, like maybe this is the one that killed a guy, maybe not. But I think I think that's the Slayer equivalent uh, of tripping on a Big Mac at McDonald's and dying. Lol. <laughs> <laughs> yep, not not exactly how yeah, it wants yeah. to go, but okay, let's uh, let's do some combat reg, shall we? Ooh boy. Okay, so I um, killed seven. Ooh, okay, okay. So there is five, six, seven. I got a flank charge. Two I have ranks. three ranks. And you outnumber. I have two banners. I have the rune of battle, <laughs> and I outnumber. Dear lord. Um, you have. Two ranks? You had no, three. No, I've got no ranks because you, uh, you. Of you course, I break your ranks. So I've got nothing. You it's got, auto. You break. got a banner? Nah. No, no, no. You did. Slaves. You did. It's auto break. A kill. So I did a kill. yes, it's auto break. So you're losing by all of that. All right, they're running. I will. Uh... Yeah, what do you choose to do? I mean, I don't think there's any reason not to to pursue. So which way am I fleeing? You know, away from the highest unit strength. I would assume so, so, so that way, so then everyone's turning and following then in that I can't direction. Go through here at all. No. So how's this going to work? You know what? Let's let's consult the term of yes. knowledge the before term of we armaments. do this, indeed, yeah. and we'll figure out exactly how this works. Okay, so we've had a look, and the way it works is um, because there is no actual avenue for them to get through. There's not enough space for them to go through there, so it just follows the normal rules of they flee away from the unit with the highest unit strength, which is the slayers, and they can go through their their friendly units. So they are running directly in this direction, mm -hmm. and I am going to pursue with both because I'm hoping to just overrun into both of those units. Yeah. All right. Um, so this is how far I flee. Indeed, sir. Show me. Plus one. So that's eight, because Skaven flee an extra inch. Indeed, and dwarves pursue one inch less. Who's first? Uh, let's, do, let's do the Iron Breakers first. Uh -huh. So I want at least just a big enough roll, um, roll to get me into them, which would be something like, I don't know, four inches. And so, so let's ha! see. Oh, easy. We yeah. get six inches, so yes, they'll be contacting the Storm Vermin, and then these guys, if I can roll a nine, I at least cut that unit down before they get away. Mm. Give me a nine! Oh, I can I do it, so the unit is destroyed. Right, so I'm in big trouble, because yes, they equip uh, both my units. Yes, sir. Uh, all right, we'll come back with where where this all oh, ends I up. I don't even think we have to, it's just boom, boom. Yeah, so they, yeah. Would, they would spin to chase, go boom, and, these and maximize. Straight, yeah, and, and then, then maximize, yep. yep. Woof! Oh my I'm god! I'm in a lot of trouble, bro. That no, was... Like I knew that was going to happen. It's yeah. just I thought, oh, I'll get my slaves over there. I don't think you're in charge range, and then just slipping up by like one or two inches, game over. Yeah, dude, it was a single inch. Honestly, that yeah. whole situation hinged on a single inch of yep. like maybe, and the maybe went to the way of the dwarves. That's I'm brutal. Glad I can cast and shoot into combat. Oh yeah, so we'll, we'll see how we go. Ugh. It's still looking bad. Okay. Okay, so that is it. Um, so, were they... We might have to check if they need to take panic checks because there was a unit, what, like here? Expendable. Ah, the slaves! slaves. Have, They're yeah, slaves! Slaves have a rule called expendable, <laughs> which means if they die, no one cares. Hell yeah, love no that. No one cares. Love that for the yeah. Skaven. <laughs> 
Very thematic. I love that. All right, and look, that is the end of Dwarves Turn 2. Jesus, it was a big one. Yep. Okay, Skaven, turn three. Let's see if they can rise like a phoenix from the ashes of turn two. Oh, it was rough. It's looking bad. All right, man, it's Declare Charges, and I think we've got a few. We so do. where is it at? All right, well, over here, Plague Monks must charge as they are frenzied. Absolutely. And look, that's two inches, if that. So oh, yeah. I'm just going to move them. Pop them in, mate. Pop them in. They're just going to... Boom, and move yes, of course, dwarves are going to hold, because that's what we do. That's it. Now um, the gutter runners. Oh no. They are <laughs> skirmishers, so they can charge 360. Indeed. They're gonna charge the stone thrower. Lovely. Yep. Slash awful. <laughs> yep. So they'll do just that. Cool. Yeah, well we'll deal with that in a second. And that's it. That's it? I'm actually gonna hold over here because Ooh. I wanna throw I, I don't like my chances of clan rats against dwarf warriors. Indeed. With great weapons. With, it just doesn't end well. So I'm actually gonna hold there, buy that's some fair. time throw a flame in there, mm -hmm. and by when I say throw a flame in there, I mean blow myself up. <laughs> um, so we'll see how we go. And, Sweet. And a bit of a bit of movement here and there, but nothing crazy. All right. Yeah. Cool. All right. Well, look, we'll uh, I'll, I'll get those charges in, but that is charges done. Um, apart from that, we will be rolling into the movement phase. So this is where everything is prior to the movement phase, yep. and. This is where everything ends up. All right, we've moved these charges in. You know, my crew has pushed forward to defend the machine and they're, boom, obviously they're on the line, but they're at the base of the hill because, you know, that's that's how that works with hills and models. Um, and what, these guys have just shifted a bit? Yeah, they just shuffle. They're just there to, to line up a charge for the next turn. Makes sense. Yeah. Um, and I think, oh yeah, yeah, your character's He's moved, moved through. Up. He's moved up. Sweet. That's it. That is it. That's it. Love it. Magic. All right, sir. Yeah, bring the pain. Let's go back into right. the Skaven days. phase, as Two it for were. The Four for the Grey Seer, one each for each Warplock Engine Seer, one for the Supercharged Warp Condenser, and I'm not going to roll. Actually, you know what? No, I will roll it, the extra power dice. Do I get the extra power dice? Yes, I do. You do. Lovely. Okay, so first things first, let's go straight into the magic phase. Yeah. I think this time around there's going to be a little bit more going on because. Pestilent Breath, Vermintide, these things can go into combat. Straight into that. Yeah, yeah. so I want to try and reduce the number of dwarves that are there. Makes sense. At the moment. So we're actually going to start with some simple stuff first. Mm -hmm. I'm going to start with this guy. Mm -hmm. And he's going to throw a bound item for, into them for Warp Lightning at the lowest charge. All right, cool. I'll, uh, I'll try and get rid of it on a single dice on a four up. No! Oh, okay. D6. Bugger. Oh, one. and Rough. that actually, wait, Warp Lightning, I each it's... result of one when it's rolled to determining the number of hits caused, hits uh -oh. the caster rather than the enemy. Uh oh. So, uh, that'll be strength five against him, so wounding him on a his two? hero. Oh yeah, it might be a top hit. Of four? No, it's top is three. Okay. Okay. Two's. Nah! Oh, Classic. Oh, <laughs> very thank good, God. very good. All right, what else you got? All right, so. He's going to do, because I can't really see, I really want to throw it into the Iron Breakers, but I can't see them. No. Nah. So he's going to do exactly the same thing that he just did, but casting on two dice at that. Lovely. Bing bong. Seven. Getting it on seven. seven. Ugh, you've still got so Thank much. I'll, I'll take it. It's yours. Okay, take, all take right. It yours. D6. Sorry, I keep using my power dice ball. That's over there. All good, bro. D6. Three. I can live with three. Pass me that yes, thing. of course. Holding on. Threes. Yeah. Killing on threes, actually. Oh, yeah, it's crap. You did? No, no, I shouldn't have taken this. <laughs> oh, it's on There's three. a lot more to come. Yeah. I know it. Very good. So, that is how many they've lost so far. For potential now, this guy checks. here, yeah. he's doing exactly the same thing on the big dice. Oh, yeah. At them. Ooh. And remember, Skaven can shoot into their own guys. Yeah, okay. They just randomize who gets hit. Yeah, and it's yeah. more likely me than you, right? Yeah, the statistics I think it's like are... five, six you, and exactly. everything else is me. So, we'll cast it first. Yep. Eight, nine, just cast on a nine. Getting it on a nine. Yep. Uh, and this is the 2d6. This is the painful one, yeah. Oh, man. You got it on a nine on three dice. With only four dice left, I can basically throw all of this at one spell and try and get rid of it. Mm. Talk, talk to me about the other two spells that I need okay, to deal so with. Okay, so I've still got four, five, six, seven power dice left. All right, well, look, I, I don't like this one the most out of all of that, so yeah, let's go on. Get rid of it. Get it out of my face. Uh, what lightning <laughs> ain't doing much for me this time, No, right? sir. Okay. I, I've felt its pain before, and I don't like it. Yeah, so you're done with yep. the spell Yeah, the rest is all you, my friend. Okay, And well. once again, at the mercy of your casters. Yeah, they have been doing too well. But we'll we'll see. see. We'll see. Okay, I'm gonna cast Frenzy yep. on this unit. Makes sense. Yep. Cast on the nine. 
Not Five, getting six, seven, it. Eight. Not uh, getting it, mate. Brutal. Okay, this okay. is not what Skaven needs on turn three. Stuff it. Let's just do it. Vermintide. Cast on a seven up in this. The Vermintide, very good, on a 7-up. You oh, get it, you get no, it. No, it's a miscast. Oh, Jesus! Oh, of course, no! No! Like, how did you not see me? Crystal, no! Oh. Let's see what happens. I've got it right here. So I know I know where it is, because I look at it so often. Bro. Miscast. All right, show it to me. Seven. That's seven. not bad. Caster loses control of his spell and struggles to keep spells in check. Cannot cast any more spells. That's fine. Easy, that was your last spell. Exactly. Could have been worse, could have been worse, but, but it also, all of it could have been a whole lot better. Mate. Yeah, this has not, not been. It's not been what you need. It's not been the game. What really screwed me was rolling the worst combination of spells. You're not wrong. Race, yeah? You're not wrong, man. Yeah. You are not wrong. Yeah. Okay. Um, that's magic phase done. Do you need to think about your shooting phase, or should we no, go into we it? We just go <laughs> straight into Sweet. it. Sweet. Start shooting me, mate. All right. So Gisales into them. Sweet. Now I am shooting into my own guys. Of course. But I don't care. Love it. <laughs> it's Skaven. <laughs> Love that. Now, I will see if they're in short range. It's 36 inches normally. Yeah. So that'll be, what, 18? Yes, indeed. I reckon you yes, will be, yes. Are. So I'll be hitting on fours. Mm -hmm. And there's no negatives for shooting into combat, right? No, no. it's just I randomize once I, I ping everyone. Okay. Some good hits. That's not bad. So now I randomize. And so five and six is me? Is that the way it works? Yeah, or is that one and two? You. Either way, I think it's like, you know, yeah, it's, so it's one and three cheap. chance. On a result of one to three, the hit is resolved against one randomly determined unit. On a four to six, the hit is resolved against the intended target. Okay, so it's 50-50, and then there's another roll again. So these two go against They're your against guys. me, and now, now what's... Now I randomize. Yeah, yeah, what is so it? So now it's um, one to three, it's me, four to six. Okay, it's 50-50 again. Yeah, okay. So let's see some one to threes, mate. <laughs> no! Oh, look they at all that. just they hit me. all go against you. Lame. This is why you, you chance it with Skaven. Indeed. And this will be killing on twos. Gross. Which is always nice. Gross. Four dead. Ah, that was gnarly. That was pretty healthy. That was gnarly. Indeed, that was a lot of hits. doing their thing. They, yeah, they did it. They did they're it. They're not immune to psych, are they? No. No, they're not. Okay, that's four dead so far. Indeed. Um, I'm going to zap with my zap gun into the zap area. That didn't make any sense. Um, this <laughs> I think everyone got it there. This is going straight that way. I'm just going to get rid of that tree. Sweet, dude. I just really don't like iron breakers. That's fair. So they, just uh, like that. Yeah, cool. Cool. Looks like it'll probably be going through three ranks. All right. How far does it shoot? I'm pretty close to you this time. You should get to Oh, me. that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so that is 29. 29. There's no doubt about it. Oh, it's definitely You've definitely hit. That's the furthest you've shot so far. Yeah. And All you right. didn't need so to I'll hit that far. Yeah. So I'll hit three. Yeah, yeah, three, three okay. for sure. All right, strength of the shot. Six, Ooh, very okay. good. Winning on twos. Yeah, winning on twos. So three, three of saves them. of neg three. Negative three, it would put them on six up armor saves. Give me a couple. No. Nah. Boom, that's another quite a bit three. That's definitely, a, it is a lot. It's a lot, sir. And that's, that's going to be a panic check. Yeah, it's a panic, a panic check off. for sure. My you poor do get iron breakers. I, no, no, there's no re-rolling panic checks. The, the only thing you get to re-roll yeah. with, um, with BSBs is break checks from combat. That is really? it. Really? You read? I already read it. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but no, you, you can't reroll rally checks either. It's mm, literally okay. just yeah. break tests. Well, I can't shoot. With, I've got a rattling gun and a flame. Oh, yeah, look, it's, it's at the end of the phase that I do Ooh, it, so I'll just it put there. it there. We know they are going to be doing one. All right, now, this is called I Don't Care, and I like rattling guns. They're just fun yeah. because they encourage you to gamble. Don't gamble. <laughs> Gamble responsibly. Yeah, don't listen to rattling guns. Authorized by the Commonwealth government. <laughs> 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 All right, so how the rattling gun works, this guy is a lot of fun. Basically how it works is you roll a dice, yep. much akin to an organ gun, yep. and that's how many hits hits happen. Awesome. Right? Now, as soon hits. as you roll a double, something's gone wrong. So you can just keep adding dice to it? Yeah, but you don't want to add more than six, because it's one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, and then you get yeah, a double. Yeah. So I'm going to fire into this combat. Which combat? I'm gonna fire into the slayers, but I'm shooting into my own guys. Yeah, There's a chance to hit my own guys. Doing so that first yeah. volley. Three. Let's be greedy. Keep going. Oh, oh no! This <laughs> one is a double. No, dude! Why? Oh, double three or double four. Result. Whoops. The steam gun controls malfunction and a cloud of green steam surrounds the crew as the gun spins around wildly. Oh god, it's this one. Uh-oh. Okay, uh, roll a scatter dice. All the shots, including the ones with the last dice, the one that caused a misfire, are fired in the direction shown by the arrow in the half-blinded and disoriented crew, ah. hitting the first unit in their path within 15 inches friend or foe. Lol. So I'm hoping I roll 
That way. That way. Yeah. Otherwise, I'm in big trouble. Not into you. Oh, that's right into right my into own guys. So it goes. Da, 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 da. Yes. So that is six hits against my own guys. Strength four, toughness three, so wounding on threes. Ouch. That's. Half? Bit okay. of mercy. Yeah, that's yeah, a little bit, bit of mercy. A little bit of mercy for the escape. Uh, neg two save, but they don't get a save, so that's, so that's three just dead. three dead. Bro, yeesh. On the oh, second dice. Yeah, that's, on the that second is very dice. bad luck. Yeah. Mate, the I luck saw is a not... guy who yeah. got a six and was like, I'll be greedy, rolled another six. Brutal. And that's kaboom. Brutal. Okay. Kaboom. Okay. Ouch. Lame. Um. Oh. What okay. about this thing over here? That's now a nice nook for my spell dice. Well, that's nice. There's, the, there's that silver lining yeah, again. Silver lining. You've got to find it. You've got to look for when it. You, when you play Skaven. <laughs> Indeed. Yeesh. Okay, so I'm going to throw a shot into those dwarves with the warp fire thrower. Hell yeah, yeah. Now, the warp fire thrower has been readily de decorated by the French government for misfiring. <laughs> um, we will now see how we go with that. So place the flame template with a narrow end touching the warp fire thrower. All right. Done. So you're right in front of me currently. Okay, now, the target must be in line of sight. Roll the artillery dice and move the template this far. Eight. Now uh -oh. that's gonna be quite far. I don't think I'm going to hit anything. I think you'll so clip a sprouts, couple. So it shoots out from, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. You'll be partially hitting two and one, or? Oh look, I'll give you the last guy. You'll okay. definitely hit the last guy and partial on two. Right, let's yep. partial on these two. So yep. one. So two hits in total. Yes, in total, yep. And that is strength five, neg two save. Ooh, so that is just gonna be killing on threes, sir. Yeah, yeah you do, you wipe the back rank. I think that's a panic on them too. So, oh no, a separate face. Yeah, sorry, yeah, sorry. yeah. No, you're good, you're good. It's hard to keep face. track. Yes. Very good, sir. Very good indeed. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, Do you have sec. any more shooting? Okay, so the warp fire thrower has a rule here. A unit suffering any casualties must take a panic test. Because it's gouts of flame. It's Spicy. a lot like the dwarf flame cannon. Totally. It automatically makes it's, you take it's a... It's terrifying. Um, it's a terrifying thing. You're Not good. terrifying enough. All you right. Have to we do stand. One more. Indeed, I do owe you. So we're at the end of phase. This is an important panic check. I've got a leadership 10. Don't fuck it up. Nine! We Whoa. stick, we stick it out. All right. That was close. It was, uh, it was. All right, so I think, I think that's the end of the shooting phase, correct? It is, it is combat time. All right, and by count as charging with these two, and you have a charge here, where would you like to start, sir? I will start at the tail end, because yep, with the place I need to that you put might... some kind of smile on my face. That's fair, that's fair, sir. Otherwise we're in trouble. So, they've got... Now two attacks base because of an extra hand weapon plus one frenzy. for frenzy, and you got a champion in there, I have right? A champion in there, so, so I will what? declare a challenge. Oh, very good! I will accept. Excellent, because dwarves, baby. <laughs> All right, so I won't bother moving them. Nah, suffice it to say, they're, whenever they're in, they're in combat, yep, lovely. So he will get four attacks. Indeed, sir. I'll just do him first. Love it. Make it happen. What's your weapon skill? Four. Four. Right? And I'm hitting on fours. Not You've bad. rolled above average. That's what you need. Strength is only three, so yeah, you're winning, winning on fives. One. You've gotten the one. One is all you need. After this save. I've got a five up dwarven ringmail save. You always roll on this. Round of five up. Here we go. Did we forge this particular suit of chainmail well? Did we? No! no, no. It, was, it was really badly kept. <laughs> no, you're like the worst. No, so that is the champ dead yes. in the challenge. That's a big deal, mate. Well done. So I've got the other guys left. So they have three attacks each. So that's three, six, six, that's nine, twelve. Twelve, sir. So yes. Four, five, six. Ah, oh, that's this is not looking good. Now, my weapon skill ain't great, so I'm hitting you on fours. Indeed, sir. Ah, oh, that's a healthy, that's healthy roll. 50 50. That's healthy. Yeah, that's healthy. 50 50 is healthy, yeah. 50 healthy uh, I guess. Fives. Three saves. That's a healthy roll. Getting 50 50 on fives. All right, again, Dwarven Ringwell, baby. Getting one of them, so you kill another two. That is pretty decent, mate. So that no. just leaves me with two to attack back. Yes, only two, yeah. All right. Threes and twos. Yeah, we're hitting on threes. Actually, threes and threes, sorry, because I'm tough four. Ooh, and yeah. killing on threes. We do kill two. We do kill two. That's pretty decent. That's actually. all right. That is all right. Okay, so you killed three. You had two ranks. You got a banner. Yep. And that's it. That's it. I killed two. Mm -hmm. I had three ranks. Mm -hmm. I got a banner. And I have no Yes, you. I lose by one. Ooh. And I will now lose my frenzy. Indeed. Now there is a BSB here. Yeah, for a reroll. So just double checking. And what's the leadership of your your grace here? Well, twelve. So it's a oh, oh no no yeah. no definitely definitely. Well, what's, what's the leadership, leadership of him? Yeah. So how this works is you have his leadership, 
plus you your get ranks. The ranks. Yeah, so I did have two, so that will go up a little bit more. Cool. So his leadership is six, seven, seven eight. eight, minus one. So seven. leadership seven, re rollable. Oh, re rollable. Come on. Yeah. Yes, they stick it out. Very nice, sir. Uh, I have lost Frenzy. Indeed, that's a big deal. But your champion is dead. He is. That is a solid, solid work there, mate. Mm. Okay, not exactly what you're looking for. Not the worst. All right, let's 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 move on to the most likely devastation. I believe this is called Trouble Town. Yeah! Um, <laughs> Trouble Town, indeed. Population let's, Skaven. Let's do the big, big combat here. The big one? You charge? So indeed, all sir. You. All right, well, look. I'm going to put... The the giant slayer, which is the unit champion, the grace. and the general and the guy next to him into the gray oh. slayer. Oh, 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 that so makes sense. Well, look, look, I'll declare a challenge with my with my my giant slayer. Then yeah. I decline with you, my BSB. Very Who's good. in the back rank anyway? Oh, so it makes no difference. So no, no, so like, so you get to choose who you accept with, but if you deny, I choose the character that that. Oh, that okay, denies. okay. In that case, it'd be wise to push my champion at the back. So, actually, you know what? Would it? You're going to accept? I accept with my unit champion. Very good, sir. Mm. Very good. Excellent. I love that. Mm. Um, that makes sense. Let's do that first. Let's do yeah. the challenge. So, he has two attacks base because he is a giant slayer, plus one attack for having dual hand weapons. He is yep. weapon skill five. Three's to hit. Rah! I do get two. Um, I'm, I'm strength four. Three's. Threes to wound him. I do. Oh, I kill him and get an extra no, no, one. No, no, I get a save. Oh, I'm sorry. I get a save. What does he have? Light yeah, armor shield. normal clan, right? Slide armor and shield. So four up in combat. Cool. So negative one for strength four. Good point. Five up in combat. Come on. Big money. <gasps> oh, so I close. I'm so close. So close. Look, I don't get the overkill. That's still an awesome thing. Yeah. That's, that's good. That's one point for that. Okay. So now the rest of my guys. I'm going to put two, mm. two, the, two guys into him. So that'll be four attacks. And then there'll be two guys into the unit, which will be another four attacks. Mm -hmm. All right, let's try and kill the Grace here. Hitting on threes. Yeah, Ooh, that's not bad. If I get three, four ups, he dead. Hurrah! No, I do a single wound to him. This is a wound. Indeed, sir. Um, and then there's going to be four just going into the unit on threes, getting two out of the hits. Not the best. And then fours. I'm top three. That's cool, we're only strength four. It's, uh, only, it's only the, I'm uh, sorry, I'm only strength three, three as well. It's so only yeah. the giant slayer that's strength so four. So I get one save of four up because I'm in combat. Indeed, sir. Passed. Nailed it. Shit. That so was... the unit champion is dead. Yeah. So that's that guy there. So I got one, two, one from the Grace here, and another one. So one, two, four attacks back. Sweet. So hitting on fours. Yes, sir. Ooh! Okay. He rolls hot. Get some more. on fives. Ooh, two dead. Gnarly. Okay. Yeesh. Um, ugh, that's oh, a big no deal. Okay. Now you only did two. We did exactly the same wounds to each other. So, so we can just discount that. Indeed, because I what I did a single wound to your Gracie and, and, you and I killed the guy. Okay, so wounds are done. So I had three ranks and a banner. Mm -hmm. I have a battle standard. Battle standard. And a regular banner. Uh, so you have a battle standard with the the because you'd only ever get one banner out Didn't of. Did you count two banners here before? So uh, battle standard plus the rune of battle. Ah, the battle standard. sorry, sorry. No, no, okay, no problem, yeah, yeah. no problem. But you will get two for that because of the magic yeah, yeah, standard yeah. as well, right? Yeah. So your battle standard with the special thing on it. Yeah. Um, I have three ranks. Three ranks. And I outnumber. You out an extra number. one, but you're unbreakable. Yeah, yeah, I do that. So yeah. yeah, you definitely win. But you stay there. But I stay right there because that's, that's what yeah. slayers do. That is, yeah, man. Mm. Okay. Not as good as I was hoping, but I have taken a wound off that Gracia. That's a good start. Now, Over here. with this combat here, yes. I'm going to hedge my bets. Interesting. Storm Vermin have a halberd, yes. but they also have a hand weapon, and, and I've paid for shields with this unit. So, you're so take I'm going to go hand weapon and shield. Not so a bad they choice. Better save in combat. Not a bad choice. Because they get frenzy, so we'll see how we go. Not a bad choice. Mm. All right, well, I did charge, so I'm still attacking first with all of my big hitters. Who's first? Um, well, initiative order, let's do it that way. Let's start Thane. with the Thane. Thane Thorin with his four attacks because of his rune of fury and yep. rune of all the good things. Um, he's weapon skill six, so he's hitting on threes. Mm -hmm. Whoop, that's Ooh. not good. He that's, sneezed. That's like, did he ever? It was a big one. Big nostrils on Thorin. <laughs> <laughs> um, and he's wounding on, you toughness four? Three, three. Toughness three, so he's wounding on twos. He gets one. Ooh, neg. Uh, so toughness, uh, strength five, so neg two. So three up, four up, five up. Indeed, sir. That's 
five. Sticks the landing. Yeah, yeah it is. Um, all right, then it's going to be the three iron breakers in the front. Hitting, uh, are they weapon skill four? Yes. So hitting all threes because they are weapon skill five. Very good. And they're strength four, so wounding on threes. Getting two at just negative one, sir. So four, four ups. Oh, oh, I get two. Yeah, that's not good. Very good. And then Big Chungus. Big Chungus himself. Indeed, Lord Chungus. <laughs> uh, his weapon skill seven, so he's hitting on threes with four attacks. Ugh, he misses half of them. This is not going the way it was supposed to. Um, he's wounded on twos. Two killing on Oh, not wounded. Ooh, Ooh. Just one. Ooh. Neg. Uh, so strength six, so neg three. Neg three, so three up, four up, five, six, six up. Six up Come on, big boys. Oh, big you get boys. it? No, big no. Boys. Okay, um, woof. So, so I, I killed actually get... two from the front. Yeah, and I've I got didn't frenzy declare up. a challenge. Ah, mm, gross. Now I've still got frenzy up, so that'll be one, two, extra. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven attacks. Indeed. So. And uh, these will all be against. Actually, hold on. Uh, what's your Thane, the BSB? What's his uh, save? So you could he because he got a kill. Yeah. You could only send one, one guy again. into yeah, no, him. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Uh, but he's only got a three up Grom. Um, okay. Three so up. I'm gonna put one guy into him. Makes sense. The unit champion has to fight the the regular guys. Yeah. And so all the other one. Okay, cool. So I'll do against the thing. Against the thing. So four force to hit. Oh, yep. Two hits. Strength three. Toughness four. four. So fives. Fives. Nada. Yep. Nope. Nope. Okay. Try. Indeed. And the rest, same thing. Fours and fives. Oh, yuck. Single hit. Yeesh. Uh-oh. Oh. No oh. word. Yeah. Okay. Who cares about frenzy? Indeed, apparently. Wow. Um, mm. So I got two kills. I have a rank. I have a battle standard bearer with the rune of battle on it. Correct. You have two ranks. You outnumber. I have a standard. And have a standard. You lose by one. Yeah, lose by one. So... Regular uh, leadership, now I had one, two ranks, so six, seven, eight. So, so it'd be his leadership yeah. there, right? So oh, so leadership six. six, seven, eight. Okay, negative one. Negative one. His leadership seven. I'm good. They hold, ooh boy. But they have lost Frenzy. Indeed. Okay, woof. Wow, right. I was expecting you to cleave through my Oh man, my, my rolls definitely weren't there no, that round. Weren't I was good. like, yeah. I was getting half hits and then only a couple wounds. And then your saves. Your saves yeah. came through pretty strong. The way I'm hoping is having higher initiative means I can thin you out a bit more. That's true. That's what I'm really praying that for. That is true. Yeah. I ain't going to be striking first next round. So yeah. that's going to be a bit of a deal. That's it. Okay, well, that concludes oh no no, it doesn't. no i keep forgetting about these guys i hate them so much oh, right. uh, that's gonna be five of them and they've yeah. got two attacks each so that's gonna be ten attacks again with automatic wounds on sixes here hitting on fours looking on fours we've got two three Actually, auto wounds yeah, is four. Ooh, yeah, four. Yeah. bad but good at the same time because oh, these are very good yeah, yeah yeah and then and that one on a five yeah oh, my four god saves. four six ups goodbye I think I get two of them! Oh, yes. <laughs> Ridiculous! I'll get oh, rid of these dear. two. Yay! Whoa. Punch a rat. Yay. So them here. Punch a rat. Uh, oh, yeah, shit, I forgot. Yeah. Punch the rat! Yep. I hit the rat! Punch the rat! I don't win no. the rat. <laughs> so. Ne you lose by one because you're on a hill. Indeed. Oh, wait, so, sorry, I killed two, I outnumber. So you're winning by two? I win by two, sorry, you're on a hill. Oh, so, so you you killed two and you outnumber. Yes, yes, yes. So you're, I'm losing by two leadership down to seven. Eight. We hold, we yeah, hold. Um, oh yes, of course, yes. <laughs> um, all right. I thought I'd kill them all. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. You probably should have. Um, okay. Okay. Well, that is it. That now concludes Skaven turn three. Okay. Dwarves, turn three, midpoint of the game. Here we go, charges to declare. There is only one, and that is my Thunderers into those gutter runners. We've checked the arc. They have just enough to be able to see them. They're, they're guaranteed their charge, so that will be going, boom, straight into them with them being up here. Rap. Um, so that is it charge-wise. There's no compulsories. There will we'll just be going into the normal movement phase. So this is where everything is before the movement phase. And this is where everything has ended up. Okay, so the Thunderers have just touched. Boom, into the flank. Boom, there they are doing the thing. Um, 
the this little man has marched his six inches to get back on his war machine he's crewing it he won't be able to shoot it this turn but next turn if he's still there hey, hey, hey. and then these boys have just marched their full six straight forward forcing the issue here getting ready to deal with that that is the movement phase done let's move on to the shooting phase you got one thing Oh yeah, of course, he's in combat. I got one thing. I got uh, one thing! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The gun can't fly yeah, no, it so. cannot. Um, yeah, look, I'm gonna keep trying to snipe. I'm gonna keep yep. trying to snipe that, uh, that, that character because I think that's, that's my best bet. Um, and I've consistently overshot. Um, I'm gonna go 14. 14. Go 14 inches. Could you measure it out for me, please, yep. sir? Boom. And that is where it is yep. touching initially. Don't overdo it. Yeah. Misfire. Ooh. Rune of forging. Rune of forging. Misfire. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that is bad no, luck. God damn it. Oh, that is bad luck. Okay. Okay. Uh, if you could get the table yeah, out, okay. please. Well, I'm just waiting for the one or the six. No, right, so. yeah, go on. Not a one. Not a one is all I need to see here. Six. Oh, okay. Six yeah, just, just can't shoot. Can't shoot this turn. That's okay. All. That is my shooting phase done because everything else is combat. Mm -hmm. Not the best. Not no. the best artillery teams. You're in combat. You can only do what you can do. All right. Let's uh, let's do some fights. Um, you know what? I want to do this one first. This is the only charge. Sure, so yeah, this is, is all a charge. Doing. Um, so it's going to be the the two dwarves. You know, this is all a bit abstracted. They're up here. Yeah. I only had one in base contact, which means two get to fight, um, and they are going to be hitting on the weapon skill four. What are your guys? Weapon uh, skill four. Gunner runners weapon skill four. Yep, beautiful. So fours. Oh, I get one of them. Strength three is oh, going three. to be fours to wound. No, that's not good. All right, your highest initiative next. Yep. So I'll put the one that I can put in against your Thunderers, because yes. I, I can only do that. Of course. And then I would guess maximization. I would have three other guys against your one guy, right? Yeah, it looks yeah. like that'd be the case. So one, one, one. So I'll do against your lone crewman. Yep. Uh, no poison. No auto wounds and three, three. hits. So fives. In fives. Two. You get two. two. All right. Seems like you've Double done it. Sixes. Sixes? No, you've done throw. it. You have removed the stone, the, the stone throw. Well done, sir. Well done. All right. Uh, and you get the thunderers with one guy. Nothing. No hits. Nothing. Okay. So let's have a look, see. Um, you did a wound. Yep. Um, and it. that is it. I um, outnumber. Outnumber. You have a rank? Rank. That's it. Flank? Uh. I'm pretty sure. Does that count as a flank charge? I'm, I'm pretty sure. I'm, pre oh, I'm, I'm pretty sure. sure skirmishes still get hit okay. in the flank. Yeah, sure thing. So two. By two, sir. Oh, oh wow. No, no, no. no. Okay. Uh, you're, are you chasing? Um. Ah. Uh, am I chasing? So you'd be going straight yeah. that away. Yeah. Ah, uh, do I Because remember, they're meant to be there, so they'd go that way. Absolutely. Yeah. I don't know if I bother. Hold. I'll, I'll test her. Uh, no, no, fuck it. I'll chase him. I'll chase, chase him. I'll always chase. Why not? Four, so you're five, going six, seven. seven, and so I need to roll an eight to get them. Yep. You need to roll an eight to get them. <gasps> eight! Oh. I did it! <laughs> What's with what Jesus? This is ridiculous, mate. All right. Unbelievable. They get pulled, yeesh, and they would just flatten and go straight to their... There it is. <laughs> Oh, oh my no, god. You know what they say, dwarves are natural sprinters. They are short distances, right? Exactly. Short, short distances. Very short distances, yeah. <laughs> Ridiculous, but okay, there we go. Good work, Thunderers. Yeah. Um Dwarf I'll, Olympics. I'll fix no, I'll just slide you out. Yay, widgets. Um, alright, yeesh. Let's go over to this one. Let's yeah. go over to this one. We'll move our way across to yeah. the to the good so stuff. I've lost frenzy. Yeah. But I do still have a unit champion, which Indeed is nice. You do. Uh, and I still do have double hand weapons. Indeed you so do. So that's how many dice I get now. Beautiful. So fours and then fives. That was appalling. Oh bro, that was no good. Yeah. What was See, that? they always let me down. Three that's hits. It. Oh Jesus, and then fives? You get one. one. It'll be a one. five five up armor save. Damn no, you, but you do get one from the front. It's gonna sure. limit my strike back to four attacks. Because no champion. Indeed, sir. Hitting on, uh, are they weapon skill four? Their weapon skill is actually three. Oh, hitting on threes. Mm. Good, good. Oh, and then roll. killing on threes. Because strength five to toughness four, that's oh. three of them dead, sir. I'm winning that this combat, Okay, so you killed three? Three. I have two ranks still. You outnumber. And a banner and outnumber. I you have one. a banner, you've killed one. 
And oh. you have a rank. You lose by four, so. Ouch. Okay, that is bad. And my leadership is five, plus one for a rank, six. I'm gonna need really low numbers here. Nope. There. Are you chasing? Uh, battle standard barrel? Reroll? Uh, yeah, yeah, worth it. Nah. Nah, okay, yes. Um, yes, I will definitely chase. All right, here, let's see again if you can chase down rats. <laughs> you always seem to be able to chase down rats. I don't know what's going on yeah, here. Mate, plus one. See, look at this nonsense. Oh, what is that, God. five? Uh, oh, minus okay. one, minus yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. So I move three and you go five, five. sir. That's amazing. Yeah, so you're just gonna, yeah, just to there. Just, there. just to there. Lovely. Lovely, yeesh. Um, meh. <laughs> We'll just scooch in a little bit. Yeah, there we go. That's fine. That's fine. Just and I'm just going to go three inches forward, so I'll be like right there. Just not put yourself on the on the yeah, yeah. on the tray. Like Perfect. So Perfect. That's it. That's where we're at. Okay. Okay. The the dwarf flank did a good job. Mm. Yeesh. Ouch, yeah, mate. Slayer fight. Oh no. So you just sorry. Right. Apologies. Fight against the slayers. Indeed, sir. Um, slayers, uh, I'm sure you're still higher initiative. Yeah, I'll strike first. Um, I'm going to declare a challenge with my giant slayer. Now, here's the thing. I cannot accept or deny. I mean, if I deny with a Gracier, how can he not fight? He's in the front. I don't know. Is he? Is there anything about whether he can't deny challenges or anything like that? If I oh, here we go. If the Gracier refuses a challenge, he can declare that he's hiding behind the belt. Yeah. Okay. So. I will, uh, the challenger is free to attack any other model, so you can't attack the Gracier. So yes, I will accept a deny with the Gracier, because he's the only thing that can accept it. Fair. All right, so he'll so hide. Yes. He'll so hide. one fewer attack. Very good. No more champion. Yeah. So one, two, three, four. Four attacks. attacks uh, Which is not a lot. Hitting on fours. Getting one. one. Winning on fives. Nope. No, you don't kill a Slayer. Terrible. Oh boy. Okay, it's three for the Giant Slayer. Um, and then, so he needs to do so because he has a higher strength. So hitting on threes, kill or wounding on threes. Two uh, wounds and negative neg one, sir. Five up. Ooh, oh, double one. Kills two. Okay. And then two, four, six, eight more attacks. Eight more attacks. Mm. Hitting on threes. Threes? Yes. Hitting on threes. Okay. Yeesh. Okay. <laughs> I don't know oh. what's happening. Winning on fours though, because they're only strength three. Getting four of them. That's Damn, still very good. Very good. Um, so you got four up armor saves against this, right? Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, nice. Does, nice. Yeah. Very good. Very good, sir. Okay. So what? I killed three. Three. Killed three. I have two ranks and a banner. Mm-hmm. Um, you have... Outnumber, but by an extra one. Yeah, so the... two for the special, uh, two for outnumber because you have yep. a special banner. One for your banner. Then the two ranks, three, three ranks, ranks, three ranks, and that's it. That's a tie combat. Three ranks. Battle standard bearer. No, yeah, count it, count it. We'll do it again. We'll do Wasn't it again. that a regular banner? Nah, you don't get two banners. You only ever claim one banner. Nah, uh, okay. All right, no, no, in that case, you're correct. It's, it's tied. And we both have musicians, so we both yeah, just Yeah, exactly. Stay there. So it's a tie. Yeah. All right, the, the grind keeps on grinding. Mm -hmm. Very good, very good. All right, over here, sir. Um, I'm going to declare a challenge with my general. Uh, oh, dear God. I can't kill him. Decline. Ooh, champ goes to the back. I, I have no choice. Makes sense. He's just gonna overkill. Yes. Actually, indeed. yeah, he's just gonna overkill. So, um, I mean, you, do, you do strike first. So I'll put. Oh, they've lost their frenzy. I'll put two against your hero. Yep, against my, my battle standard yep, bearer. Those two, and I'll put the other two against normal infantry. Cool. So against your battle standard bearer. <laughs> Did they miss? <laughs> oh one. my god. Double one against the other guys. One hits. Come on, please. Fives to wound? Oh, no. Sure. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, my Thane would be gone first because he has the rune of speed. I'm um, hitting on threes. My, my attack dice are never quite doing what they should be. Oh, Wounded on threes. World. I know, dude. No, <laughs> that's very fair. It's a single wound. Um, actually, no, it was strength five. Are they toughness four? Toughness three. Okay, so two wounds. Yeah, two wounds. Two wounds at strength five. So neg two, so th five up. Oh, wow! Wow! They're holding. Yeesh! Are they ever? Yeah. Look, yeah. pulling out the hand weapon and shield has been paying oh, dividends. The best dividends. Uh, all right, and then it's going to be four from the regular iron breakers mm -hmm. hitting on threes. Woof! Again, we're missing Ooh, fifty yeah. percent of our attacks every time hitting on threes. That's bullshit. It's bullshit. Wounding on threes, getting a single wound, negative one. So four, four up. That, that, we okay. do kill one with the breakers of iron. 
And then it's the general, That's him. Lord Chungus himself, hitting on threes. That's better. Yep. Wounded on twos. Oh, oh my god. god. So, so a single at negative three. No. No, kill another one. Okay, uh, I don't know if that was enough for me to win the combat, to be honest. No, um, I think you're looking pretty healthy. So what, I killed two? Yep. Um, I have a battle standard bearer with the rune of battle and a rank. You had three, uh, you had two ranks, two ranks at, the at the start. You have a banner, I outnumber. you outnumber. That's it. You lose by one, sir. Yep. So that will be leadership uh, six, seven. So six, but re-rollable. Yes, indeed. Seven, re-rollable. Re Good luck. Oh, seven. right on the money. Okay. Oh. Uh, okay. So oh. hang on, hang on. Wasn't it leadership seven, but negative one? No, no, no. Six, seven. And they lost by one. Negative one. And I rolled a six. So you did, you did. That's no, fine. You totally Just did. Off. You totally did. My... Indeed, sir. Yeah. Lucky. Lucky, damn it. That's another turn of like skeeven shooting while I'm in combat. Oh, I still think you're going to win it. I can't but... believe I'm not breaking them. My, my two I'm rolls have been too. ridiculous. Yeah, I'm I should be too. killing more than I am, yeah. but also I can't complain. <laughs> Your rolls have been all over the yeah, place. Right? It's a balancing it's a bit... act. This is, is fine. Um, but that's it. That's it. Um, mm -hmm. Oof, oof, wow. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. All right, so that is it. That is the end of Dwarf, turn three. All right, Skaven, turn four. Yep. Let's get some stuff done. First thing will be rally fleeing troops That's for those it. there, boys. Oh, no. They're running. They, are they running. continue to run. They will run six inches. Six now, inches. they'll have to kind of go this way. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And now, remember, they're not meant to be ranked up when they're doing their thing. No, 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 so they'll be able yeah. to go through that, for sure. I'm just going to move him there. Yep, and I'll, uh, I'll lift my tray. Thank you kindly. Alright, so they're there, basically. Beautiful. And I'll shuffle him backwards to there. Excellent. Now, I think he needs to take a, a check. Even though they're this far away. So they failed it, but look, actually, look, let's let's 100% check exactly how that works. Because yeah. if there's a, a fleeing unit at the start of your turn near friendly units, you may have to take panic checks. Let's figure that out. We'll be back with the results. All right, we checked the panic section and the very top of the flow chart for panic is panic tests if there is a fleeing unit within four inches mm -hmm. at the start of your turn. So he is required to make a panic check on leadership five. Oh. He sticks it, he does it, yeah! There you go, there's there a little go, bit of finally, something. Finally. All right, nice. I'm not even, you know, I, of course I'd like winning, but I'm stoked for you, bro. Yeah, that's that was, good. That was rough. That was good. You know, it's about time you get a little bit of light. A bit of light that's in it. all of this darkness. That's um, it. Sweet. Okay, that is that done. Um, I can do movement now. It's going yeah. to be that quick. De declare charges? Yes, so here. Clearly. Yeah, that's it. That's going to be yep. unbelievably simple. Boom, boom, in they go. Love that. And everything else, he's staying put. Sweet. He's just shuffling to over here. Ooh, interesting. I know he's kind of out there, but um, as you know, we'll go here. Cool, makes sense. Uh, that's, that's it. That's all my movement. Hell yeah. Nothing else is happening. Hell yeah. Cool. All right, well, let's get into some magic phase, sir. Mm -hmm. let's, let's head straight on into it. So two base. Two for the bell, four for the grace here, one for each warp block engine seer, one for the warp charge accumulator, and I'm not going to bother rolling for that extra one because I don't think I need it. So Actually, now stuff it. Let's just do it. Let's do it, mate. Just yeah, do it. Yeah, it. just throw it in the pool. Okay, so let's start with the fun stuff. I'm going to give my own unit frenzy. Makes sense. On three six. Mm. Ooh. 12, 13, 14. 14. Not a, that's not an irresistible because of um, escaping magic. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Mm. Now you can have the friends. Have it. Take right. it. Bothers me not at all. Done. That's over there. Um, we're going to roll with the fun of warp lightning. He's going to warp lightning into them for three dice Oof. on the big charge. The big charge. That is 11. 11. Yep. I'm going to try and fight 11 on three dice. Go for it. Hurrah! I get it. It's gone. Oh, just. Get it out of here, mate. Indeed. Just. Indeed. Just. Super close. That was yeah. a gamble. Gamble. He is going to use the weaker version on that unit of dwarves. Cool. All right. Make it happen, sir. And I will cast it on five. No. No. Yeesh. Now okay. he's going to do the same thing with his, his bound, bound item. item. Yeah. yeah. 
Um, you don't have to roll dice for that. No, it's just auto cast on a four. I'll just try and get rid of it. Nah, get out of here. Get yeah, out of here. It's gone. The rest of the dice are yours, sir. I, I am again at well. your mercy. I feel like all I'm doing is just putting a frenzy on, and that's it. I know. Like all these points sp spent into magic, and I'm getting a frenzy. That's it. I know, dude. It's yeah, rough. It's a bit rough. It's all right. super rough. What we're gonna do is we're going to throw a vermintide. On three dice. Cool. From the Grey Seer into the Slaves. Unleash the rats! Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven, yes, sir. And you got nothing to do. No, 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 it's all you. All right, well, this it's not the best idea, but I don't care. This is just for fun. Yeah. So, 40, uh, okay, all units touched in the template. If the caster is engaged in close combat, no template is used. Instead, roll 3d6 and distribute evenly. Six. six. All right, one, two, three, three for you, three for me. Four for six. Uh, okay, the caster himself never hits himself from Vermintide. It's just friend and foe. So one to three it hits me, four to six it hits Doesn't me. it say distribute evenly? Oh yeah, good point. <laughs> <laughs> I got you, baby, I got you. No, you got a good point. Uh, but so yeah, thinking. three so against me. It's only strength two. So it's six. winning on sixes. Nothing. No. Against me, it's Winning on fives. Because you're toughness three. Yeah. That you lose, lose a rat? rat. Uh, lose well, a... I get to say. Oh, yes, excuse me. It's not no oh, I'm land. Good. Yeah, nice. Nice. All it's right. the best spell. Yeesh. Yeah, look, it's not the best. Uh, that's my magic. Mate. We can go straight into shooting, Yes, though. we can. Bloody hell. The, the magic phases have just not been there for you, dude. No, they really haven't. All but... right. All right. Yes, let's, let's, let's shoot. Let's start with the bell. Look, the shooting phases have been... Yes, the bell. I the forgot bell. the bell. We forgot the bell. Um, all right. Well, good luck on your shooting phase, bro. Big bong. Four. 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 Four is four good. The bell and its unit cause fear until the next scaven shooting phase. It doesn't matter. I'm against slayers. Yeah. Otherwise, it would have been that really would have been lovely, lovely, lovely yeah. indeed. Big units causing fear are a big deal. Yeah, it's not good. Um, all right, rattling gun. It is pivoting yeah. and it is unloading into those dwarves. Absolutely. So come on, no more doubles. Good First luck. Shot. Good luck. You got this. Five. Ooh. Second shot. Oh! <laughs> So that means kaboom. What? It's gone. Double five, double six, it's gone. Dude, Jesus. Every single time I take weapon teams, Christoph. it just it just it just does not work out for me. Ladies and gentlemen, it has not <laughs> been the Skaven's day. Holy crap, bro. Visit your local pet store, adopt a rat. Yeah, they need they need some love. Yeah, they, they need, need some, some love. love. They need some love. Jesus, okay. <laughs> okay. Alright, let's, let, I'll cheer myself up by yeah, firing the Gisales into the Iron Yeah, breakers. man, kill some Iron Breakers. Let's, let's, let's get a little bit of good feelings going right. here. So, force to hit. Yeah. Uh, uh, that one, that was pretty bad, actually. Yep, two hits and uh, one, one hit against me. Not surely not. Oh, yes, yes, it does. So does that just kill a Gisale? Uh, well, well, I have to roll the wound and it. stuff. Gosh, that's bad luck. So, that's right. going to be auto hit me. Over and over. Yeah, it ain't great. Uh, Waffle Gisales, reliable. Okay, so I just roll to wound myself, I wound myself, and it's gone, so it's a dead <laughs> sale. Um, against you, so Strength one to six. three, I randomize, oh, yeah. four yeah. to six, I don't randomize. One so randomizes. This one randomizes, one to three, it hits me, four to six, it hits you, it hits me, yeah. killing me on twos, one of my guys is dead, yeah. killing you on twos. One of my guys we is dead. We just both lose a guy. Lovely. <laughs> At least that's a rank gone for you. Yeah, it is. You broke yeah. a rank, that's a big deal. It's yeah. a big deal. That was not good. No. Um, more no. lightning cannon, same deal. I just, I really don't, oh, actually, I don't like that unit over there either, do I? I guess not. But this one's more of a concern. I'm not gonna shoot my warp fire thrower because that's too close. Yeah. And that's not gonna end well. No. <laughs> um, and there's a good chance it's gonna blow itself up. Yeah, I've seen that happen before. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so I'll tell you what, we'll just, we'll just stick with what we're doing here. Yeah. And I'll just zap Bomb. straight through. Same deal, Kill. nothing crazy. Uh, distance, that's in. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Easily. I won't um, even bother counting that because it's so close now. So what, you're hitting two of them? Two. Yeah, yeah. okay. All right, strength of the shot. Eight, Ooh, strong. Now, will you have to look out Sir uh, here? I mean, I guess so. Because it is hitting you all Yeah, yeah, I mean, let's, yeah. let's do let's it. Let's just don't roll a one, basically. Yeah, yeah, just don't do that. Don't do that? Yay! Yeah. All right, so two of them wounding on twos. Indeed, sir. Yes, and I think that's killing on twos at strength eight. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Boom, that's good. You're whittling those guys. Yep. Whittling them solidly. I don't even know if I'm going to win that combat anymore. Oh. The strength of which you've been holding against yeah, me. Yeah, it's a tough one. It's real tough. Um, okay. It. Straight to combat. Let's get some fighting happening, sir. Charges. Charges. So, Charges. one, two, three, four, five, six. And you know what? 
You know, I will a challenge. declare a challenge. I will. For fun. I will accept, sir. Excellent. I will accept. I will quaff my beard and step forward, being like right. a filthy rat man. So against your, this is my champion against your champion. Hell yeah! Go Ratatouille. Oh, I, I think I just need to make, make rat jokes. It seems like it. that's what's happening. Um, Channel the rats. Uh, what are the rat things are? Um, I'm drawing a blank. <laughs> oh, uh, what's that show that I watched it when I was a kid? Ninja Turtles. Ninja Turtles. Ninja Turtles, yes, Turtles. Splinter. So, Master Splinter. Master Splinter, do your thing. No nah, words. Nah, that one doesn't work. Oh, no, no Master Splinter work. wasn't the go. No, All right, no. I'm hitting you back on... Oh, sorry, yeah, I was uh, yeah, with my uh, my runesmith. Mm. Oh, sorry, you got a runesmith in there. Yeah, Crap, yeah. I forgot, yeah. Yep, um, uh, runesmith is hitting on threes. He gets them both. He's mm. killing on twos because he's strength six with a great weapon. Yeah, that's a point of overkill, sir. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. I actually only, I actually forgot you had a... A runesmith. A guy in there. That's fair, sir. Ooh, yeah, he's there. Uh, that's my champ unit, or not my champ, my, you know, yeah. my hero-led unit. So we got four um, more. Yeah. That was... Christoph. <clears throat> Ones and twos. Christoph. That was, that was good. Oh my god. That was tasty. Oh my god, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god. I don't know what to say. This is ridiculous. All right, three regular dwarves and a champion swinging back on threes. Okay. And twos. Okay, I kill three of them. Well, oh, well strength? sorry, strength five. So neg two. So sixes. Two six up armor saves. Oh, there's three six up armor saves. No, no, no. Oh, yes, you are correct. Yeah, and you, so and you, you saved two of them. <laughs> well done, sir. There you go. Okay, yeesh. Um, so I got two wounds, one of them with overkill. Yes, from with the overkill. Yep. Yeah. Um, I have a banner. Two ranks. And two ranks. You have three ranks, a banner, and you outnumber me. Oh, this is by one. By one, sir. But you get plus three to your leadership. Yeah, you're staying. I'm you're good. fine. You're fine, yeah. mate. Okay. Oof. Um, Let's do... You want to do that one? Yeah, I want to do this Let's one do here. Um, so hang on, what is the initiative of your guys? Of my Storm Vermin? Yeah, your Storm Vermin. Uh, they are initiative five, four, five, five, five. Initiative five? Initiative right. five. I'm pretty sure... I'm not sure. I've got plus one initiative on my Thane. He might be initiative four base, up to five. I'll have oh, to check I that. I don't think so on a dwarf. I mean, maybe not. Maybe yeah. not. He's a thane. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, maybe, maybe not. Anyway, um, I'm gonna. I'm declaring a channel, challenge with my general again. I have no choice but to decline. You decline. Very good. All right. Well, look. Choice. Just before we roll these dice, I'm just gonna check that stat. We'll be back in sure. a moment. Yeah. No. My my hopes were high. He's initiative three base. Goes up to four with the rune of speed. So you're striking first, sir. Yep. So I'm gonna put just, two guys yeah, into him. Two guys into him. Yep. Nin falls. Ooh, That's nice. Uh, strength fours. No, they, oh no. Oh, I you get a fives. single wound. Yep, yes, needing fives. Um, so Long I have a, a three up arm save. Saves yeah. it. Two normal guys? Yes, sir. Okay. Getting the hits. Needing fives to wound again. Uh, no. No. All right. Well, I'm just holding pattern there. Yeah, man. I mean, it's working. I haven't been able to break the unit, and it's because of your armor save. So let's go with Mathane first because he's the highest initiative. Yeah. He again misses 50% of his hits mm. every time. 50% every time. Two wounds, sir, at strength five. So neg two. Five up. Yeah, you, you saves are still coming through. Well yeah. in, well All in. Right. It's going to be my three iron breakers. Um, uh, two for a champ, two for the regulars on threes. There oh, we go. They're doing better than your heroes. They are. It's bloody ridiculous. And threes. Yeah, oh, only two wounds at negative one, sir. So four ups. Both failed. Ooh, okay. Okay. This is what we need. And then Chungus. I think, Lord, I think Chungus. Chungus is game over for them now. Quite possibly. All right, there we go. That's what it should be every turn, statistically. And twos. Oh, only two. Uh, six ups on these ones, my man. No. Another two. Yeah, that's uh, going to do This it. seems like it should have gotten the job done. Kill five. What is that? Five? That's four. Five. Um, rune, runic battle standard bearer. That's it. So, and you had two ranks with a banner and outnumber. One rank. Oh, excuse me. One yeah. rank that time. I lose by four. Indeed, sir. Um, and you would be getting plus one to your leadership because you had the one rank to begin with. I need double ones. No, no, I need three. Three or below. Good luck. Rerollable. No, nope. reroll it. Come on, three or below. Reroll. Oh, oh, I was so close. Yeah, no, nah, not happening. Dude, okay. Chasing? I actually don't know if I want to chase. Like, if yeah, I do, if good I, point, actually. If I, like, right now, I will still just contact 
the edge of your base, but mm. all that's going to do is put my general in that fight. And it's your turn next, so you can charge. I could charge. Yeah, good point. Or I could just cut them down, and which is super unlikely. Now I'm yeah. going to test a restraint okay. on leadership ten. Yeah, okay. we're, we're going to restrain. How far do we run? Seven. Seven. Seven inch run. We finally break them. Oof. Oof. All right. All right. Just combat. Indeed, sir. Um, I'm going to declare a challenge. Same deal. Yes. Yeah. Now I am frenzied now, so I'll have one, two, three, four becomes eight attacks. Because mm -hmm. I cast frenzy on myself. Indeed. Uh, one, two, three. Yeah, there we go. So, fours. Oof. Pretty bad again. Yes, indeed. Usual. Getting three hits. Fives. Come on, at least one. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, you go. You got one. That's taken two attacks out of the front rank. Mm -hmm. um, all right, so it's going to be the giant slayer first because he slays giants. He gets two hits and he's strength four, so threes to wound, getting a single wound at negative one, sir. You save it. Mm -hmm. You stick the landing over and over. It'll be two, four, six attacks from the rest of the boys. Six attacks, needing threes. Very good, very good. That is a four. And fours. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right, well. I win, but you you're win. Unbreakable. We don't run. See, I need something to support here, but I've got nothing that can support at the moment, so I'm in a lot of trouble. I know, man, because you're winning that combat over and over. But it doesn't matter because you're unbreakable. Because we just, we don't go anywhere. Yeah. All right, um, that that is going to be turn. Oh, we did that. Oh, yeah, we did yeah. that. So that's it. Done, 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 done. That is going to be the end of Skaven turn four. Okay. Dwarves. Turn four, charges to declare. Obviously, Chungus unit is going to be hitting the flank of that unit. Can't do anything. Um, about it's doing it. a thing. Now, they are going to have to take a panic check because a unit that is already locked in combat getting hit in the flank must take panic checks. It's a really? thing. It's a thing. I read this rule just the other day. By all means, we'll check it before okay. we actually do the thing. Because um, technically, before the charge is moved oh. in, you would have to take well, a panic check. Oh yeah, eh, eh. So it doesn't matter. No, it doesn't. That's new to me. I'll but have to yeah, have a we'll, we'll have a look at that. I'm pretty sure that's yeah. a thing. Um, okay, so yes, boom, lovely. Um, I will be doing some movement. There's no more charges to do or rallies to make. So this is where everything is before the movement phase. And this is where everything ends up. So the Thunderers have done a maximum three inch wheel to try and get some arc on that guy right there. It's gonna be negative three to hit because it's over half range, shooting at a single model, and it's uh, moving. So they're gonna be hitting on uh, sixes. sixes. Yeah. So who knows, who knows, give it a shot because otherwise they've got zero targets. So that's my thought process here. Um, these guys have done a wheel and just pushed to you know fill this gap, get ready for a flank charge or prepare for those guys if they rally. And that is it, that's the movement phase done. Let's go back into the shooting phase and let's just Let's just keep doing it. Let's keep trying to snipe yep. some characters. What's your guess? So what did I guess last time? Uh, you don't have to tell me that. I should have oh, been able to like remember. 14, I think I said 14. 17, something like that. I think something I did 14. Um, um, and I just sailed over him again, as always. So let's... No, you uh, misfired. I did. I totally yeah. did. You're right. Yeah. You're the right. The guess was fine. I think the guess misfired. was good. Yeah, yeah. look, I'm going to you know, go even a little more conservative. I'm going to go 13, 13 inches this time. 13 inches, sir. Uh, Boom, on the front of the cannon. Oh, yeah, man, I'll shovel. Lovely, lovely, yes indeed. Just into line. All right, he's going an extra two inches. Ooh, ooh. Is this the one where I roll two twice? Damn it, that no. Could be bad for you. Yep, it could be. So I'm going to need probably at least a six. Maybe a four. Maybe we'll be four. right on top of him. Ha! Oh, that'll do it. That'll do it. it. Yeah, do it. it. Right. Poof! Dung into there. All right, it's wounding him on a two. Because oh, it's a cannonball. No! <laughs> no! God damn it! Okay. Okay. Oh. Obviously it just bounced. It hit the corner of this and just and goosh, yeah. careened off somewhere else. Come on, man! <laughs> that cannon is underperforming. So massively. But okay, yeah. at least, you know what, I'm happy that I at least got it at him mm. for once. You know, you can't you can't account for a roll of a one, people. This is what happens That's just gonna happen. Retrain bolt throw. <laughs> what are you guys doing? What are yeah. you doing? All right, let's uh, let's get five Thunderers shooting at, uh, shooting at that guy on sixes. Let's make that happen. Here we go. Sixes? 
Oh, yeah. oh, I got him once. It's strength four to his toughness three, no doubt. Yeah. It is a wound at negative two. Uh, yeah, just take a wound. Very good. Very good. And then we have one man here who is very mad <laughs> about his... Oh. Oh. I hope he gets so angry that he misfires. Which, which one do you think's closest? Because I can only shoot... Oh, I didn't even think about him. He's got the same issue. I think... Uh, I tell you what, it kind let's of, just measure both, Yeah. because no matter what, you're going to fire at one of them, indeed. 14? Yeah, it looks like a 14. Four, 14. Let's roll on it. Okay, cool, just sorry. On yep, sorry. One to three, four to six. Done. It hits All right, it's going to be fair him. Enough. That's fair. That's yep, I can nice dig that. 50, 50. I can dig that. Miss and it's going to hit him. Don't say that. Don't say that. It's going to hit him a bunch. <gasps> oh! <laughs> no! Yes! God damn it! No! See, he got too angry. All what right, happens. one or two, and this thing is destroyed. Let's not see that. Ha! Okay, no. it's not shooting this turn, next turn, or the following yes, turn. Yes, because it's one guy. It's done. It's, yeah, You're it's done. Useless, that basically. was it. That was his turn to do it, and he messed it up. Uh, you cursed me, Christoph. I did, I did. <laughs> you, you, you skeezy, scaven dog. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there was a plot. Oh, look, man, it's about, you know, a little, a little bit of luck needs yeah, to come yeah, swinging yeah. back your way, even if it's luck from me failing as opposed to you succeeding. I would have been happier with one or two. Yeah, I'm sure. Points, I'm sure, because yes, that makes sense. <laughs> Oh. All right, that is my shooting phase done. I plinked a wound off and did nothing else. I think it's straight into combat. I think we can. Um, uh, there's only one charge. Yes. You know, I still just want to do that last. I like saving the best to last. Let's go over here. So, um, there's no challenge to declare because your champion's dead. Yep. So you are just striking first, sir. Yep. That's wow. Wow. You hit, okay. you hit with everything. I need fives though. You do. Oh wow! Okay, okay. that's cool. To Four swing of back. them. Oh, back. oh, I need fives and sixes. Yeah. Can I just roll fives like you can? <gasps> I roll, I'll roll take bad. two of them. Yeah. I'll take two of them for sure. Um. Okay. Oof. That was still very solid, Christoph. Mm. Well done, sir. Well done. Um. So, um. They're all going the same. I'll just do the the regular boys first. Um. So there's champion plus two guys. Uh, didn't you lose two from the front? From I the front did. Ranks? So champion plus one guy. Yeah, because you got a hero. As yes, well. I do indeed, sir. Um, needing threes, getting two hits. Mm -hmm. Needing twos, getting two wounds. Nine. Negative two. Needing sixes. No. Getting two of them, and then the rune smith needing threes and twos. Um, but this is negative three, sir. So I don't think no, you get another save. Yeah. Ooh, so just another hurt. two. All right, so. Let's do you first. You got two. Yep. Um, you ranks. had three ranks, banner, out and number. outnumber. Correct. I got four kills. four kills, two ranks, banner. That's a tie combat. Yeah, we, you have a musician, we both have a musician. Indeed, sir. Yeah, yes, yeah. that's a tie combat double musician. They're mm. sticking it out. Nice, that was that was some solid hits from you, man. Yeah, they you kept know, you I'm in thinking, there. thinking, like, at this point, the wolf fire thrower can just, I don't care if he blows up, blow you, up on you. You're going to shoot it? <laughs> blow up on you. Love that. It's just fine. Love yeah. that for you. Yeah. Um, all right, let's come over to here. I'm hoping that this breaks at this round. I don't think it will. Um, I think this may be the decider. If this crumbles, that's game over for it me. It seems like it. Yeah. It seems like it. We could probably call it at that point. Yeah. Um, well, what I'm considering is if I want to declare a challenge, because now... He could accept the challenge because I've got a model in base contact with him. No, you don't. Uh, he, it's assumed we fill it. It's oh. always it's always pushed across. Okay, wouldn't I put him over there then? I mean, even he's in that point okay, of the yeah, rank. Yeah, it yeah. all the rank just moves across. Sure. Um, so look, I'll declare a challenge. I'll okay. declare a challenge with my with my general. No, I just decline. Makes sense. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, then I will I will have you decline it with your battle standard bearer. Yep. No worries. Um, so battle standard bearer, we can't use any of the effects of the battle standard bearer this round, or or his. So I can't reroll. As far as I know. What really? I mean, look, we'll have to check when if okay. it comes to that. But I'm pretty sure if someone declines, you can't use their leadership. You can't use their banner. Blah 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 blah. We'll check. I could be wrong. Um, so, with that in mind, would you accept the challenge instead of declining it? No, I'd still decline it. Okay. Yeah. Lovely. I don't think it would work like that, because that would nullify all magic magic items set on that model. Look, you could be right. I'm we'll not, this is it. not one that I'm 100% on. Yeah, we'll double check it. We will. We definitely yeah. will. All right. So, look, the, that means the Grace here is still a targetable person, because I've sent the Battle Standard Bearer to the back. So, yes. I'm going to start with that. I'm going to see if I can kill that freaking Gracie. Do you want to charges go first? You are absolutely correct. Yes, sorry. I'm getting, I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, let's go with my Thane. Thane Thorin. Rah! 
Ugh, Thane mm. Thorin, you're always underperforming, mate. Rah! Getting a single wound at negative Nick. two. Five, that still doesn't cut it. All right, we kill one with Thorin. Thanks, Thorin. Um, and then it's gonna be just the regular Iron Breakers and the Champ, hitting on threes. Wounded on threes at strength four to toughness three. Three wounds. Oh dear. <laughs> two That's saves for sure. Two saves. Yeah, because it's Not only negative bad. one. Yep. So two saves, well in, sir. All right, and now, Chungus. Yep. Lord Chungus. Oh God, Lord Chungus. Getting two hits, wounding, killing on twos. Well, maybe not. Strength six, so negative three. So no, yes. That is no safe. Lovely. Um, so now you get to fight back, sir, because I assume, well, yeah, no, they're initiative three base. Yeah, no, I will, I will strike. First, yes, initiative four. Very good. So you killed four on this side. Yes. So I'd lose another one. So one, I only get two attacks back. Cool. Yay. Nice. No. No. As um, usual. The Grace here? Oh wait, no, Frenzy. Sorry. Hey, I, I get three, two three more attacks. Two attacks. Sorry. That's all good. Two more attacks. One hits. Nothing. No wound. Uh, the Grace here? Yeah, good point. Yeah, yeah. It's Frenzy too. Nope. Nope. No. Nothing. All right, let's do the Trolls, uh, the Giant Slayer into the Grace here. Uh -huh. Need threes to hit. He gets them all. Oh, he needs threes to kill. No, he oh. only gets one of them. Yeah. Down to one wound remaining. Mm -hmm. There's one other giant, one other troll slayer fighting him, needing threes to hit. Getting two hits, needing fours to wound. A single four up will do it. No! Oh. <laughs> Damn it. You're okay. gonna win combat though. Most likely. Uh, but we've got two, four, six remaining attacks from them going in on threes to hit. Getting the hits on fours to wound. Getting two wounds, sir, at no negs, two four up armor saves on those clan rats. One more. One more goes down. Okay, so we're just gonna have to figure out mm. the, the battle standard bearer thing. We will be back once we've figured out exactly how that works. So yes, I was incorrect. The way it works is it's just that you can't use the leadership of the character. So mm. the battle standard bearer, the magic banner, all the things still count. Mm. Cool. All right, I did six wounds. I got a flank charge. Um, I... Uh, I have two ranks. two ranks. I have a banner with the rune of battle on it. That's about it. Do I outnumber at this point? Oh, Ooh. how many have you got? Um, so 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. I need to check how many the Screaming Bell counts Totally, as. totally. Um, it's a chariot, so maybe three? You know strength of four. Five oh, with the grace here. So five. Five. Six, seven, 24 because he has two wounds. Sweet, all right, so excellent. I don't think you count the wounds of a character. Oh, you don't? No, they're just counted as unit strength one. I don't know about that, but anyway, either way, it's still that number. Yeah, okay, sweet. Yeah, yeah. So it's just sweet. So this is my pool so far. You have two ranks now? No ranks, you've flanked me. Oh, I keep, yes, thank you, apologies. Um, outnumber with the Outnumber with the special banner small. and the fact that you have a banner. Yep. Is That's that it? it? That's it. Yeesh. I lose by, I think I'm auto broken. I think so. so Frenzy is gone. They're all dead. Because what's your leadership? Six on him base? Is that right? I can't save this. I can't save it. It's auto broken. Six, seven, eight. Yeah. It's auto broken. Yeah, it is. You're running, mate. Um, I will I'll chase. chase. I'll chase with both, yes. All right, how far do I run? Get ready to see double ones. Seven. So seven total. Yeah. I'll go with my general's unit. They catch him and the last unit. Look, I tell you what. I think that's it, man. I, I think that's game. You're happy to call yeah, it Yeah, I will shake your other arm. Oh, look, look, okay. yes. Oh, no, we'll yeah, do it. Yeah, yes, indeed. But no, I think that's GG, because I mean, at this point, they're, you're here. They're fleeing, they're fleeing. I can maybe shoot a little bit, yeah. cast much less. They're going to get whittled down. Most likely. That's it. There yeah, is nothing I can do. I think that is it. All right, guys. Yep. Well, that is the exciting conclusion to the grudge match. Mm. You know, the, the dwarves are reclaiming their minds. They've pushed the Skaven out of them. And we are, we're going to start getting gems and gold and things. And we are striking it from the Book of Grudges. So that is the end of the game. Stick around for the post game. See you soon. 
And there it is. It's, it is a dwarf victory <laughs> in the end. Dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good game. Yeah, it was good game. Good it was game. game. Yeah, it was sure. a rough one for the Skaven. Mm. Jesus Christ. And yeah, I think it all it all stemmed from that misplay at the very start, where the slaves were a little too far ahead. Just like just by like an inch. Yeah, by an like inch. Maybe an inch, maybe even a half inch. They mm. just came into my charge range, and then it all just kind of snowballed yeah, from for there. Sure. Man, it was yeah. just boom, 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 boom. Um, your Gisales are terrifying. Yeah, the fact they that would. like they they like yeah. they and your cannon mm. put my my um my iron breakers down by half. Like while yeah. in combat, they were just stripping them off. Yeah. That was scary. They did good work for you, mm. but honestly, I think that really that's the only thing that did good work for you. Yeah, your magic yeah. was just not there. Yeah, and that was and the that was hundred well percent from the start, the from the very start. Yeah. You know, random spells, mm. and they they randomized very poorly this game. Yeah, the last game we played, the first game we played when we yeah, were just that was like a bit different. Yeah, yeah, man, he had plague, and plague, plague. stripped me down it bounced nastly. Quite a bit. It was real yeah. bad. So I was sitting here being like, "Please, no plague!" Yeah, when it didn't yeah, come it through. Didn't come through. And you missed out on like an extra warp lightning, mm. so your ability to output damage before the game even started was pretty reduced. And that, that's the thing I think with the Skaven spells is it's not a bad lore, mm. but the problem is that Vermintide is a tough one if you're on a uh, on a screaming bell. Totally. And Pestilent Breath is a tough one because by the time you're that close, you're in combat anyway. So then yeah, what man. do you do? You know, it's it's a bit of a tricky situation. Indeed. Um, and yeah, your warp your warp lock engineers were not getting as many of their warp no. lightnings off as they could have. Yeah. And, and you just, got some good I dispels. Did, I did keep dispelling yeah. them. Um, you know, I just kind of would just throw like a dice at something to mm. maybe get rid of your bound item, which yeah. I never managed to do. I didn't get yeah, it once. Yeah. It kept going off. Yeah, but then true. you rolled like under. Like below average on how many attacks it was doing each time. Yeah, that's. I don't think point. you ever got more than three. No, it was no, it's like very low. Three and yeah. two and Maybe one. Maybe one or two dwarves. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So the magic just it just really wasn't coming mm. through for you, man. And then of course combat. Dwarves are gonna win the combat of course, most yeah. of the time. And I think that all again stems from that conversation of having the slaves up early. If I manage Absolutely. to control it a bit more thin a little bit and then move, maybe be a bit more reserved in advancing, yeah. I think it would have been a different conversation. But Absolutely. I mean, you threw frenzy on them and you just threw them up yeah. the field. And I was still like, oh, I don't know. I wasn't mm. even sure that I had the charge. Because again, it was, it was very close. It was close. close. Yeah, it was, it was very close. close. But I looked yeah. at it and was like, I think I do. And yeah, it was in. Yeah. And there it was. Artillery Hill did very little for me. My oh. artillery, I mean, there was a little bit of stuff. Turn one shooting was decent. You're right. You're yeah, right. That was my best shooting phase few, by far. A full rank of plague marks, a bunch of uh, storm vermin. Totally. A bunch of, I know rats don't mean much, but long term, <laughs> you know, long term, you're killing a few clan rats. That's Rat lives thing. probably don't matter. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Um, your your gutter runners did good. Yeah, the gutter runners right. did do good. They, they, right. they I mean, but still, they did. They killed a full war machine, and yes. they they shut yeah. down the organ gun for yes. a good couple of turns. Yeah. And then when my organ gun finally came back, misfire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> could, have worse, worse. could have been yeah, worse. Could have been worse. Absolutely. Yeah. But look, guys, that is it. That was uh, that was a, a lot of fun. Yeah, it was yeah, a no, fun it was game. It was, it was a fun game. Mm. Um, it was it's so awesome to get a new army on the channel. Yeah, so yeah, thank yeah, you yeah. so much no for coming worries. in, dude. It yeah, was super good. awesome. Your army is fantastic, and the terrain is ah, chef's kiss. It's so nice. It's themed. so nice themed exactly. Yes, yes. So if you enjoyed this, guys, don't forget like, subscribe, hit the bell. Just giving the video a like does huge things for it. It starts to spread it out to people that mm. aren't subscribed. So if you're subscribed already, hit that like button for me, guys. Let's get these videos out there. Let's keep growing this little channel all the way to glory. But <laughs> until next time, I'm Stoss. This is Christoph. Happy Wargaming. And be good to your mother. <laughs>